the state, and uh, their fans are definitely excited. Uh, and they've come out in full force tonight. The the way fan is the way stand is just as full as I've ever seen it here at Badger Stadium. Yeah, just was going to mention that, Jack. Jack, it's it's senior night. Uh, uh, that is always always comes with a lot of emotions, uh, but also it is a big game. So the Badgers going to have to put some of that behind. And once the once the game starts, get out get down to business. Yeah, they're going to have to get over them, get over themselves pretty quick. Obviously, it's senior night, so it's an emotional night for all of these guys uh, out on the field. It could possibly be their last game at Badger Stadium. Um, but like you said, uh, Caleb, tonight is. A very important game for both teams, uh, but especially for the Badgers if they want to um, keep in this um, playoff hunt in terms of seeding now. It's kind of the game that we're playing, um, and same for box side. So for both of these teams, a win is very crucial tonight. Let's set up as we go into week uh, tonight being week nine. Arkadelphia, excuse me, box side, uh, five and zero oh in the conference, uh, sits at top of the four A seven. Robinson one game behind at uh, four and one. Arkadelphia tied with two other teams, Nashville and Haskell Harmony Grove, with a three and two record. And then uh, you have teams below that being Fountain Lake, Ashdown, and Malvern. So. As you look across the conference, this is a big game. Uh, the Badgers, uh, when you start looking at playoff implications tonight, could uh, there is an outside chance Arkadelphia could end up as a two seed, but most likely you're looking at somewhere around a three, possibly a four if, if things uh, go south. But uh, four weeks ago, Caleb, just the fact that you're talking about having being able to have a second seed is something that the Badgers would have taken uh, right on the spot four weeks ago after starting so, so slowly. Yeah, Arkadelphia started the season 0-5. Uh, really a poor record to start the season, but the performances weren't terrible uh, for the Badgers in those first five losses. And then coming in uh, the last three games on a three-game winning streak, and Arkadelphia has really looked hot, uh, playing against two teams the last two weeks that run a uh, very similar offense to box eye and just uh, demolishing them on defense. I mean, the, the two teams have not been able to run the ball at all against Arkadelphia's front seven, and so that'll be the big matchup this week. Uh, but like you said, uh, the fact that Arkadelphia is in this spot is really remarkable. But they have to keep going from this point because if they if they let down now and lose this game, then they could be looking at possibly even a five seed in the playoffs, which is not uh, you know anything close to what they'd be looking for. A couple of names to look for. Caleb did mention Dawson Dabbs. Uh, he will be wearing number twenty three. For those of you who are watching the live stream, uh, he's number twenty three on the uh, 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 Boxite roster. But also one stat that Jim uh, mentioned earlier, uh, uh, excuse me, Boxite has averaged, has a guy that averages about 38 yards per kickoff return. Obviously, as you see the Arkadelphia Badgers break the flag and come out, the, the Badgers have the weapon in Gabe Goodman, which might eliminate some of those 38-yard uh, uh, average returns, and that could help the, the Arkadelphia defense. But you are going to have to look at watching this game tonight. Arkadelphia defense against the run, and you don't want to get caught sleeping and give up one of those uh, uh, big plays out from a p running offense through the air. Yeah, and that's kind of what we've seen a little bit in the past couple of weeks is um, Arkadelphia being able to hold out for the most part, but it's but the idea of keeping uh, teams away from those long plays, they obviously kill you. Um, we saw uh, last week in the first half against um, Ashdown, uh, that was definitely where the Badgers' uh, defense was at fault there, and it kind of – um, plays into this week as well, so it's a big thing for the, this Badgers defense to keep the big plays at bay. All right, Arkadelphia wearing the road, the home blue uniforms with white pants. Boxite comes out with white jerseys, gray pants. Arkadelphia will receive the toss. Boxite will kick, and we'll turn it over to the voice of the Badgers for tonight, Caleb Bird. <laughs> yeah, it's a big game tonight, like we've said. Boxite um, electing to kick to start the game, and Arkadelphia going to get the ball first. Uh, but, Jack, this is a uh, kickoff returns have not been a thing that the batters have uh, done too well at this year uh, throughout the year haven't had too many chances to return kickoffs but last week Victor Tadme took two big uh, returns one on a punt one on a kick uh, and we could use a really nice return from Tadme here uh, to start this football game yeah no, I think the big thing here to start the, this first drive uh, this first kickoff is just make sure to not make any mistakes here um, obviously wanting to get a uh, a return for a touchdown or just good field position for the Badger, but I think the main thing here is keeping possession of the ball and putting it in the hands of your offense. This kicker does not look like he's getting ready to kick the ball deep either. Yeah, lining up uh, in sort of an onside kick formation, and the ball is kicked, and it's going to be a pooch kick towards the sideline. It's going to be let to go out of bounds, so that's going to be a flag, and Arkadelphia is going to start their first drive of the game at their own 35-yard line. Yeah, and I see immediately that – 
um, box side is going away of the likes of Victor Tademy and Carlos Haney. Um, obviously know of their potential to return the big kicks like we've seen in the past couple weeks. Um, but that time, trying to um, do something that we've seen a lot that Gabe Goodman has done and just kind of um, placing the kick, but that time doing it unsuccessfully. And that will result in good field position for the Badgers to start this first drive. So Arkadelphia is going to take over the football at the 35-yard line. Offense coming out on the field. Cannon Turner is going to play quarterback tonight alongside Zon Hatley in the backfield. One player starting the game on the offensive side of the ball here is Victor Tademy. He's out for the first play of the game. Badgers with trips to the left. One receiver to the right side. Turner at quarterback. Hatley at running back. He sends Buster Thomas in motion. It's going to be a read option. Hand off to Thomas. Thomas around the right side. He's got some yards across the 40, across the 45. Up. He's down at the 50-yard line. That is a great start to the game for the Badgers. Yeah, Buster Thomas around the left side, uh, excuse me, around the right side, lined up on the left. Great blocking, great seal from the offensive line on the right side. Buster Thomas got the gap, and he was able to be drug down from behind, but not before a first down. Yeah, Thomas is going to cross the 50-yard line. Now he's uh, got the ball on the uh, box site, 49. Thomas going to go in motion here again. Ball snapped to Turner. He's back to pass. He feels some pressure. He's going to roll out, throw the ball to Thomas. Thomas was wide open, but the ball uh, just not to his hands. It's going to fall incomplete. Yeah, good, good play from Theron Terrett there going to his right side, feeling pressure coming up the middle. Um, at that time, just threw it a little bit behind uh, Buster Thomas on that one. He was wide open, found a pocket of space in between um, two of uh, Boxite's cornerbacks, but Turner, was, Turner wasn't able to put the ball there for him. That'll result in second and ten. Yeah, second and ten now on the box site 49-yard line. No one being subbed in and out for the Badgers. It's going to be uh, one tied in now, Ruble at fullback. Buster Thomas is going to come in motion. Ball snapped to Turner. Turner hands it off to Hatley. Hatley dances, makes a move. Now he's going to be tackled, but he's going to fall forward to the 45-yard line. There'll be a four-yard gain for uh, Tatamy or for uh, – Kyron, Kyron Harrison. Harrison. Yeah, Kyron Harrison at running back now. So that's going to be a four-yard gain for Harrison. Third and six now for the Badgers. Yeah, and good play there from Harrison to pick up those four yards. It looked like he was hit after about one or two, but he was able to spin off one of the guys and fall forward for a four-yard gain. Five wide now for Arkadelphia. Five receivers in the game. Cannon Turner at quarterback. You're going to send a receiver in motion. And now another receiver comes in motion. It's going to fake a handoff. Turner rolls out to his left. He's going to throw the ball. It's going to be over the head of his receiver and out of bounds. So that's going to be an incomplete pass. Uh, fourth down situation, and the Badgers might be forced to punt here. Yeah, roll out to the left that time. Had uh, the slot receiver, Alec Rubel, coming on an, uh, an out route. Uh, Dion Hunter was a little deeper of an out route. Uh, overthrown uh, pass that time by Cannon Turner. It brings up fourth and six. Man in motion now for Arkadelphia. Cannon fakes a snap count. He's going to say, say word to his offensive line and drop back to punt formation. Turner's going to punt the ball. It's a good punt. No one back to return for Boxe. He's going to bounce at the 12 and go out of bounds at the 9-yard line. Wow. Yeah, so that's a good punt from Cannon Turner, and that's going to give Boxite some poor starting field position for their first drive. Yeah, and it looks like the Badgers were trying to draw Boxite off sides there, but unsuccessfully did so, and as a result, Cannon Turner dropped back a couple more yards, um, received the snap, and punted the ball away, which was a beautiful punt at that. Um, Boxite will have to start inside their own 10-yard line, so they're going to have to go at least 90 yards if they want to score on their first drive of the game. Big possession here for the Badger defense coming out against this box side offense. You mentioned that, Caleb, this is not the same box side team that uh, Badger fans might have seen the last three years. Uh, big possession. It's a big offensive line. Big first possession for the Badger D. McDowell is under center, and the other going to step into the shotgun now, actually, and that's going to be a good tackle for Arkadelphia. A run to the right, but a good tackle. Only a one yard gain uh, for box side to start this game. Yeah, Josh Wallace came from that linebacker position, found a gap, was able to get McDowell uh, right at the line of scrimmage. He did roll him forward, a gain of one. So second and nine, uh, good, good play that time by the Badger defense, seeing what the offense for Boxite was trying to set up. Yeah, a bit of a misdirection there as they went to a direct snap to the running back on that play. And once again here, there's going to be yeah, there's going to be no one under center for Boxite. So. Yeah, they're going to run some of that shotgun. It's a, it's a running offense out of a shotgun set a lot of times. 
That's what a lot of what, uh, as Boxite calls a timeout. We saw that a lot last night uh, as the Boxite junior high team ran a lot of the similar stuff. They were going to run a, a traditionally run offense uh, out of the shotgun. So a lot of single wing type things where McDowell will run the ball, but they're also going to mix dabs in, obviously, a lot. He had 281 yards uh, last week. Yeah, I watched a lot of film on Boxite uh, against Robinson last week, trying to see uh, what their offense looked like. And a lot of plays, you had two running backs in the backfield, the quarterback in the backfield, along with two guards pulling. So a lot of motion in the backfield, and that uh, creates a lot of confusion uh, for the defense when you have five guys running around the backfield on a given play. Back to action here, but we would like to thank our uh, live stream sponsors. As you see those, uh, scroll across your screen. For those on radio, we will be taking the radio breaks, so the station can thank the sponsors as well. But thank you for bringing Badger football to us in 2018. Once again, a snap is handed off on the jet sweep, and it's a good tackle by Arkadelphia in the backfield. Jet sweep, but it could not fool the Badgers, uh, and that's going to be a negative gain. Kyron Harrison uh, is going to drop the running back in the backfield to bring up third and 10. Yeah, Harrison that time just knew exactly what he was doing and took down uh, Boxite's uh, running back there immediately, not getting any yards whatsoever. A negative loss, like you said, uh, Caleb, on the play. Great play, a uh, great second down play for this Badgers defense to now bring up third and long. Once again in the shotgun is Boxite. McDowell at quarterback, Dabs to his left. He's going to take the snap. He's going to hand it off to Dabs, and Dabs is going to go up the middle. He's going to get some yards this time, but it's not going to be nearly enough for a first down. Only three-yard gain there for Boxside, and that's going to bring up fourth down, and they're going to have to punt the football. Yeah, the, the Badger defense answers. Boxside won the first possession by stopping the Arkadelphia offense. The Badger defense responds, holding Boxside to without one first down. So a great start that time by the Badger defense, forcing what looks like will be a punt deep from Boxside. Boxite punter is going to line up in the end zone. Boxite with gray numerals on white shirts. A little <laughs> bit hard to see the numbers here and get you names on the Boxite players. Uh, but the Boxite punter is going to line up in the end zone. He's going to roll out and do a rugby-style punt. It's going to be high, and it's going to land in the middle of our Cadelphia players. Luckily, it does not hit anyone. It's going to roll over the 40-yard line. It's going to land on the box site, 42-yard line. So Arkadelphia is going to have really good field position to start their next drive. Yeah, it's a 42, excuse me, a 42 yards in the air, so a net punt uh, that time of uh, uh, 35 yards that time for the box site punter. It was a rugby punt, kind of rolled them out to the right side, uh, was able to get that one high in the air. And you're right, Caleb, uh, the re punt return team uh, got fortunate there that uh, uh, the ball did not hit the backside of a badger. Arkadelphia's offense is going to come back on the field now with good field position. Kyron Harrison starting now at running back. Uh, three receivers in the set with a tight end. Cannon Turner in the shotgun. He's going to send a man in motion, and he's going to hand it off to Buster Thomas. Thomas around the right side. He makes a guy miss, and he's on the sideline. He's got yards across the 25 to the 20 to the 10 to the 15 to the 5. Touchdown, Buster Thomas. Touchdown, uh -oh. Arkadelphia. Well, we, we've got a... We, well, we don't know yet. We've got a side judge marked him marked him out at the 10. The side judge, it was a great call, by the way. You can clip that one to use because that was a good call. Uh, but <laughs> the side judge was actually knocked down uh, on the rush, and so nobody could – the uh, the back judge did not have an angle for the sideline, so he was looking over at the side judge who got knocked down on the play. So it is at the 10-yard line for Arkadelphia. All right, so one one official mark motion for touchdown, one calls him out the 10. So Arkadelphia ball, first and goal. He's going to send him in a motion once again. He's going to stop at the fullback spot. Cannon Turner's going to roll out to his left. They're going to run the option. Turner's going to keep it himself. He's going to be stopped by a load of minors there. Uh, maybe get a one-yard gain on Ford Progress. Yeah, the referee's going to give him a one-yard gain for Cannon Turner. That's going to bring up second and goal. Second and goal. That time you have Kyron Harrison. Zion Hatley did miss some uh, this week, uh, missed some due to illness. And so Kyron Harrison getting the start uh, in the backfield for Arkadelphia. Uh, Cannon with the, the option that time. He could pitch it or keep it. He decided to keep it, and Boxite plugged up the hole. Ruble at fullback for Arkadelphia. Harrison at running back. Cannon Turner in the shotgun. He's going to hand it off to Harrison. Harrison up there. He's got space across the five down to the two-yard line. He's going to be wrestled down, but that's a good gain for Kyron Harrison. It's going to be third and goal now from 
the one and a half yard line. So right between the one and two yard line now. And this is a really manageable situation for the Badgers. Yeah, great run there by Harrison. What you love about his running ability is he just had a boost immediately from picking up that ball and just ran right through that defense. Almost got in the end zone, but his burst of pace got him down to the two-yard line. Under center now, Cannon Turner's going to take the snap. He's going to push it in himself. He's close to the end zone, uh, and he's not going to get it. They're going to call that fourth down. They're calling him down before he gets to the end zone. So a good push from the offensive line. Couldn't quite get in the end zone. It's going to be fourth and goal. Uh, within the one-yard line, and now the Badgers are going to send out Gabe Goodman and take the three points. Yep, third and goal uh, run that time. you got a fullback and a running back. We've seen that play, Cannon, Cannon Turner under center, uh, trying to get a push from behind, but could only get to the one. They're going to come out for a chip shot attempt for, from Gabe Goodman. Goodman going to come out, and it's going to kick is up, and it is good. Perfect. Straight up the uprights, and that is a... 19-yard field goal from Goodman and a 3 to nothing lead for the Badgers. Uh, and we're going to take a 30-second timeout now on the radio and thank our sponsors here on the live stream. Would like to thank uh, our live stream sponsors this year and also sponsors of the J.R. Eldridge Show that you can see on Arkadelphia Local Cable, but also on the APSD TV YouTube channels. Taylor King and Associates, Southwest Sporting Goods, Drs. Rob and Gary Rucker, Welch Funeral Home, State Farm, Austin Wingfield Agency, Blake Bell of Edward Jones, Turner, Roger, Manning, and Plyler, PLLC, Southern Bank Corp., and Eddie Arnold of Jostens and Twin Rivers Health and Rehabilitation. And we're back here at Badger Stadium. The Badgers lead 3 to nothing following the field goal from Goodman. It was a long run from Buster Thomas to set up uh, the Badgers in good field position. Uh, and then the field goal to cap it all off. A five-play, 42-yard drive for Arkadelphia. And now Goodman's back out to kick off here. Uh, Cruz, the, the star return man from Boxite, standing on his own goal line. Goodman's kick is up, and it's deep. It's going to be close to the goal line, and it's going to be in the end zone. That's going to be a touchback. So. Caleb, it's deep, and I don't think it's playable. Yeah, and that is a good <laughs> kick there from uh, Gabe Goodman, and it's going to – um, give box site field position now at their own 20-yard line. That's exactly what you want there, Gabe Gunman doing what we've seen so much this year. Uh, into the end zone, forcing another touchback, not allowing box site's star return man to return the ball. Real, some of the, this is These are the kind of games that Gabe Gunman, uh, his leg, it really kind of becomes a weapon for the Badgers as we see right there. Run up the middle now for Boxside, and it's a good gain for Dawson Dabbs. He gets out uh, close to the first down marker, brought down at the 31-yard line, and I think they might give him a first down here. Yeah, they lined up under center that time, and so then you have uh, the quick uh, handoff, and that was a dive play. Dawson Dabbs got the 10-yard uh, rush, his first carry of the game, I believe, or first for positive yardage, and got the first down for Boxside on first and 10. Once again, going to line up under center here, back in their normal dead T offense. McDowell going to take the snap, and he's going to hand it off once again. Up the middle goes Dabs, and he's going to get yards. He's going to drive Arkadelphia defenders. He's drove Arkadelphia defenders about four yards there up to the 39-yard line, and that's a gain of eight for Dabs. On the road, that was actually Eason Sandage, a 5'10", uh, 200-pound fullback there that time on the run. Uh, Got the, another big gain on first down. They went out of the shotgun. You mentioned a lot in the first drive. Didn't have much luck, so they've gone back to uh, the tee, and it's gained, had two big gains on first down. Third down and two now for Boxite. Second down and two, run up the middle, and it's going to be a first down. First down for the Miners out across to the 45-yard line, and that's a seven-yard gain. This Dead Sea offense is getting yards for Boxite. Yeah, it's a big offensive line, too, and they're going to have angles. And uh, a lot of times you see those offenses that are running, uh, the teams that are running this offense are running it because they don't have a size advantage on the defense. Boxite has been that way in the past, but they do have a size advantage on some of their opponents with that big offensive line, and they've given the ball to Dawson Dabbs two of these first three plays. 
once again lining up in their dead T set. Two wide receivers, a tight end, two running backs in the backfield. Seth Medal under center, and he's going to take the ball for himself, and he's going to be out across the 50, out across the 45-yard line of Arkadelphia, and he's going to be dragged down at the Arkadelphia 43-yard line. So a good run there from McDowell, and that's a first down. Yeah, good play there from Boxside. Uh, quarterback McDowell just keeping himself and just kind of sneaking out to the left side. Um, no one could touch him for a minute. Be able to get the first down on that play. Uh, once again, Badger team just need to do just need to do a better job of containing this offense and not allowing them to break away for more yards. Badgers line up with four down linemen, four linebackers. McDowell's going to take the snap, hand it off to Dabs. Dabs is not going to have anywhere to go. He's going to be brought down right around the line of scrimmage. Good tackle there from Arkadelphia. Alec Rubel in there at one of the linebacker positions there. Another uh, illness slash injury on the defense this week. Uh, heard that Alec Rubel had been forced to come in and play some defense. He was able to make that tackle. The defensive line did a good job that time, Caleb, of, uh, of occupying and not giving up a whole lot of ground to the offensive line of box side, allowing those linebackers to come in and make a tackle for a short gain, or no gain, actually. Second and 10 now, putting box side back behind the chains. McDowell under center. He's going to take the snap, and he's going to take it himself. He's going to get a couple of yards, but not a lot going. He's going to be brought down around the edge uh, by a herd of Badgers. That's only a three-yard gain for McDowell. And give it a two-yard gain for McDowell, and that's going to be third and eight now for the Miners. Big play here for the Badger defense. You what could be four down territory, but you got to wonder if Arkadelphia gets a stop on this third down. Does Coach Patton try to start playing the field position game? Uh, he's been Arkadelphia has had the field position advantage for the first part of the first quarter. Big play here for the Badger defense. We'll see what mindset Boxside has going into this one if they don't get the first down. McDowell once again coming out under center. Two wide receivers, two running backs in the backfield. McDowell's going to take the snap, and he's going to take it himself around the left side. He's going to be brought down quickly. He's got five, six Badgers on the tackle there. Only a two-yard gain for Boxside, and it's going to be fourth and five for the Miners. Fourth and six for the Miners. Yeah, big play. Uh, if if Boxside goes for it, uh, definitely huge for this defense to get that stop right there. But this fourth down is just as important. It looks like Boxside. Looks like they are going to go for it, so those defense need to be even more so on their toes for this fourth down play. Yeah, box site keeping their offense out on the field. And they're going to go back to the shotgun here. It's going to be direct snap, and it's going to be back to pass. A throwing play, and it's caught on the sideline for a first down. Brought in the different quarterback there. Uh, brought in number 10, Hunter Davis, for box side, and he made a good throw to the sideline. Uh, and that is a first down for box side. Yeah, good play. A quick uh, out route there to the uh, past the chains. Knew where he had to be. Get a nice job. The receiver did of keeping a foot in bounds uh, to get the first down for Boxite. Going back to the shotgun here once again for the Miners. Actually, they're going to go under center. Going under center. McDowell get under center. He's going to hand the ball off, uh, and it's going to be stuffed by Arkadelphia. Arkadelphia is going to stuff the dive play, and that might be one yard of forward progress and then six yards against forward progress, but he might give him a yard there. Uh, on a game. And then his helmet came off, and the box height coaches are saying that it was ripped off, but the head referee is going to make him come off for a play. And that's Dabs having to come off there, the main ball carrier for box height. Might see someone else get the football in this second and 10 situation. Box height huddling up after every play, and they like to run some time off the clock. Already gone four and a half minutes on this drive. Once again, lining up under center is McDowell. McDowell going to take the snap and hand it off, and that's a decent gain for Boxite, two or three yards, but not really anything to phone home about. Uh, and it's going to be third and long once again for the Miners. Yeah, I believe defensive tackle Elijah Wheeler got in there. You you mentioned the 4-4 lineup when Boxite goes in this uh, set. Uh, to make it third and eight as we adjust the screen. You go 4-4, four, 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 it looks almost like a 4-3 set here, but Elijah Wheeler on the defensive line did a nice job of spinning off his block and causing that short gain. Fox is going to line up once again in the shotgun. They're going to send a man in motion, and it's going to be a fake handoff, a pass, a mm. screen. He's got room. Uh, Box is going to get out across the first down marker, and that's going to be a first down down to the – 29-yard line of Ar Nine, down to the 19, 18, 18, 18, 18 18 yard line of Arkadelphia. 
Uh, so that's a first down for Boxside, and they're driving. Boy, just a just a hair a hair short as we have an official timeout. Uh, uh, Official timeout, just a, just a hair short, the uh, corner of the end on the right side of the Arkadelphia defense saw the screen. He saw the quarterback dropping back, and he was just about a split second too late uh, and didn't interrupt, the, didn't disrupt the uh, throwing motion of the quarterback. So box site now, this game, they've had two passes on this drive. We have an official timeout on the field. There's a box site minor down uh, with an injury. So let's take a 30-second timeout here on the radio uh, while we wait for this game to resume. Right back here on the live stream, we're going to thank our sponsors once again. See them scrolling across your screen. Doctors got Rob and Gary Rucker, All Care, State Farm Pharmacy, Blake Bell of Edward Jones. And the teams are back out on the field and ready to play. Box size got first and 10 on the Arkadelphia 19-yard line. McDowell's going to go under center. Two wide receivers spreading out the Arkadelphia defense. Going to send a receiver in motion. And McDowell's going to take the snap and pitch it to that receiver. And it's going to be a good block, a good stop by Arkadelphia. Good stop for only a two-yard gain there. Kyron Harrison. Uh, on the tackle, and actually they're going to give him no gain. So good stop there from Harrison, uh, and that's going to be second and 10 now for Boxsite. Yeah, and that was a great open field tackle uh, from Harrison on that play. Um, Boxsite trying to fool some people, going and making the counter, but that time got nothing on it. Under center once again, McDowell's going to hand it off now to Dabs, and Dabs got room. He's out. He's going to drive a defender across the 10-yard line down to about the six. So that's a first down for Boxside. It's going to be first and goal. Uh, Dawson Dabbs showing a bit of speed and a bit of power to drive his defender. You know, once again, uh, Dabbs just showing why he's been such a potent uh, running back for Boxside and really in this conference uh, this season. Um, in that time, um, with his strength and his speed, is able to pick up the first down. Clock now winding down within 15 seconds left in the first quarter. McDowell's going to take the snap and hand it off and it's going to be into the end zone for Boxside. That's a six-yard touchdown run from the Miners. It's Ethan Sandage on the touchdown. Uh, now Boxside's going to take the lead, six to three. Yeah, Sandage was the. Um, I think that might have been on the second time he carried the ball. Both came on this drive. He had about an eight-yard gain on first and ten early, and then he was able to find a big hole. A five ten, two hundred pounds is what he's listed at. He looks a little bit bigger than that. Strong runner is Ethan Sandage, and he found the end zone. Boxside coming out to kick. Turner Southard is the kicker. Uh, going to kick the extra point here for the Miners and try to give themselves a 7-3 lead. The kick for box site is up, and it is oh. off the upright and no good. Uh, we've got a, we're going to have a roughing the kicker penalty as Arkadelphia uh, is going to be called for a penalty. Yep, roughing the kicker as uh, the Badgers ran into him, or roughed him, actually. Yeah, roughing the kicker, and now I think Coach Patton is talking to his team. He's going to think about sending out the offense again. Now it's going to be a two-point conversion from the one-and-a-half yard line rather than the three-yard line and that makes it a really manageable situation for a quarterback sneaking a touchdown. Two points. Yeah, or a Dawson Dabbs. You know, he, he has not been held to many uh, gains less than three yards and so they'll try to do that again here. The box is going to bring their offense out on the field. They're going to go under center. Seth McDowell under center. Dabs and Standage in the backfield. McDowell is going to hand it off, and oh. he's going to be stopped. They're nice. going to wrap him up and stop him. The Badgers are going to stop the two-point conversion, and it's no good. So it's only a three-point game now uh, with only five seconds left in the first quarter. So it's box site six, Arkadelphia three. Big stop there for the Badger defense. Keep them out of that two-point conversion. So we're going to go to a timeout now uh, as the kicking teams get ready uh, to get back on the field. Take a look at our sponsors. And we'd like to mention, uh, thank you for pointing this out, Arnold Batson Turner and Turner is also a sponsor of our live stream. And for some reason, uh, their logo has been left off the last uh, uh, couple of weeks. So we uploaded it uh, in the last thanks to uh, – uh, Arnold Batson, Turner, and Turner employee Michelle Robbins for pointing that out to us. So sorry about that. 
but we do appreciate Arnold Batson Turner and Turner uh, being uh, a sponsor as well. We look at some of our other sponsors. Austin Wingfield State Farm Agency, Blake Bell of Edward Jones, Turner, Rogers, Manning, and Plyler, LLC, Southern Bank Corp, Jostens, Eddie Arnold with Jostens and Arkadelphia, and also Twin Rivers Health and Rehabilitation, Welch Funeral Home, Doctors Rob and Gary Rucker, Southwest Sporting Goods, and Taylor King and Associates. Back here on the field, box site ready, lined up to kick, and it's going to be a kick once again to the corner, and it's going to go out of bounds. So once again, box site kicks it out of bounds, and Arkadelphia is going to have good field position at their own 35-yard line. I feel like they'd almost prefer that now um, with both of their um, kickoffs going out of bounds. Um, not really sure. It looks like they're trying to um, kind of place it um, around the 30-yard line, but both of their attempts have gone out of bounds, um, which will – Result in once again a great field position for the for the Badgers on their second drive. Arkadelphia going to come out on the field. Zon Hatley is in action now at running back. Two receivers on the near side, one on the far side. Witten in at tight end. And it's going to be Thomas in motion. And Turner's going to take the snap roll to his right, looking to pass. He's going to go deep, and he's got a man. Victor Tadamy deep, but he underthrows the receiver, and that's going to be wow. intercepted. Interception for Boxite. Uh, and they're going to get the football back on their own 32-yard line to start the second quarter as the buzzer sounds. So we're going to break for a two-minute timeout. When we come back, Boxite's going to have the football. Staying here on the live stream, Jack, that was a big interception. Yeah. That was huge there. Uh, great interception from Boxside on their part. Um, the defender caught it kind of kind of like a basket catch uh, that a center fielder makes in the outfield. Um, and that time, um, Boxside made a great catch and was able to get the ball back. Um, off looked like, uh, looked, looked like it was going to be a long reception for Victor Tadby, but instead, Boxside will have the ball once again. Yeah, Seth McDowell with a great uh, interception. You mentioned it was over the shoulder. Uh, he was running backward. He wasn't the one who was guarding Victor Tadamy, but the ball was underthrown. And so Seth McDowell from his safety position or backside corner position was able to uh, catch up with it. It was underthrown. He was able to make the catch before it got to Tadamy, who did have a beat on the receiver, uh, on the de defensive back, but the ball was underthrown, and uh, Seth McDowell came up with a great interception. Coming back now. Uh, starting the second quarter, Boxy has the ball. McDowell's going to fake a handoff, and he's going to get some yardage out across the 40-yard line up to the 42-yard line of Boxy. That's a nice gain from McDowell, and Boxy's going to have good second and two field position. Yeah, you talk about these offenses wanting to stay ahead of the chains, and Boxy has done exactly that tonight. Uh, so far, they've had big gains on first down uh, to be ahead of the chains, and that gives this offense freedom in what they can do uh, with play calling. Box site coming out in their typical dead T set. McDowell under center, and he's going to hand it off to Savage, Sandage up the middle. And Sandage is not going to get much yardage, but he'll get enough for a first down up to the 45-yard line. That's going to be a three-yard gain. And that's going to be a first and ten. For the miners. We've got another player sent uh, off of the field due to the due to equipment violations. You know, there's a, a knee pad rule, and this is this crew has has really been on the knee pad rule more than any crew that we've seen all year. Yeah, sending Cannon Turner out now to replace Victor Tatum. He had to come off the field for his knee pads. McDowell under center. He's going to hand it off to his fullback. It's going to be a short gain and a uh, very limited gain there for Boxite. Maybe two yards for the Miners. Uh, and that's going to bring up a second and eight situation. Good job by Arkadelphia uh, tackling that running back before he get any more yards. Yeah, and Victor Tatum going to come back out on the field now. Uh, this time he asked the official, am I good? He sent him back <laughs> on. So now we'll see if it's on the far side. Could it be a uh, – could it be a little ploy to try to get into the head of the uh, defense from the other side? McDowell under center for Boxside, and he's going to hand it off 
to his fullback and his Sandage and he's got a gain. He'll cross the 35 all the way down to the 33 yard line. That's a big gain for Sandage. Uh, and they're moving into Arkadelphia territory now all the way down to the Arkadelphia 33 yard line. Yeah, another big run there uh, from Sandage. Uh, we talked about earlier just how big he's been for um, the Miners. Um, getting the touchdown uh, run earlier in the last drive and that time just tr just running right through this Badger's defense and was dragged down um, now inside the 35-yard line. Box site once again going under center. McDowell at quarterback. Takes the snap and he's going to pitch it back and it's going to be a short gain for box side. A little quick pitch uh, and a one-yard gain for the Miners. Dabs not really able to find anywhere to go there on the quick run. Yeah. Good pursuit that time by the outside of that uh, Arkadelphia defense. The outside linebackers stayed in their assignments. Dabs took the pitch and had two Badgers right there, uh, and they made a good tackle. He's, he's not only a good runner, but he's hard to tackle. They did a good job of finishing the tackle for a short game. Boxite once again under center, and they're going to hand it off to Dabs again. Dabs across the left side, and he's going to be brought down. Uh, by the Badgers out of the 28-yard line of Arkadelphia. So not too much of a gain there, but uh, it's going to be good enough to bring up third and five for Boxite, and this is a manageable situation for their Dead Sea offense. It is, and most likely in four-down territory, the way they have been uh, getting chunks of uh, yards in big chunks. Josh Wallace with the tackle that time, he would have liked to hold him to a shorter gain and made it third and six or seven, but he did force the uh, stop. Now it's third and five. Boxside once again, two wide receivers, a tight end, two running backs in the backfield. McDowell's going to hand the ball off to Sandage, and Sandage has got a bit of yardage out across the 25-yard line. It's going to be close to a first down. I'm nope. not sure if he's going to get it, and they're yep. going to call him down at the 25. Well, it's 26, actually, is where they're going to spot him short of the 25. So fourth and uh, a long one, short two. That's more like two yards, uh, fourth and two here for Boxside. Fourth and two on the far hash mark for box site. This is where you're going to hear the coaches if you're on the field saying, watch the Rydell, make sure you don't jump off sides. Box site going for the ball here. They're going to look up for a play for the sideline, likely went for a hard count there. Now they have the play coming in. McDowell under center. He's going to take the snap, hand it off to Dabs, and Dabs doesn't have much room, and I'm not sure if he got it. Dabs falls forward across this, the 25. It's going to depend on the spot. We'll see what the spot is. The Badger defenders are running off the field like they got the stop, and it looks like they did. Arkadelphia made the stop, and that's a turnover on downs. Arkadelphia football. Nice job by the Badger defense. That defensive line stood up the offensive line of Boxite and was able to hold Dabs to a one-yard gain. And, you know, he did a nice job of once he had contact. He wasn't on the ground. He kept going, but the Badger defense kept playing as well, and they were able to keep him short and stop him short. Last drive out, Arkadelphia went for a big pass uh, and had that pass intercepted. This time out, we'll see if they try to go a little bit more conservative. Three wide receivers on the far sideline, one on the near. Cannon Turner takes a snap, and he's running the option. He's going to decide to run it himself, and he's going to – fall across the 25-yard line to the 26. Didn't have much room on the outside there, looking for a hole, and decided just to run it right through a defender and pick up two yards. Yeah, it looked like a run-pass option that time. Uh, Cannon Turner and the running back, Zion Hatley, going out to the right side. Cannon Turner electing to run it himself. Didn't really find any receivers and thought it would be better just keeping himself instead of pitching it to Zion Hatley that time, only to be able to pick up one yard on the play. Good coverage there from box height. Cannon Turner once again in the shotgun. Hatley to his right. Alec Rubel at fullback. Turner's going to hand it off to Hatley, and he's going to tee it for himself. Up the middle, across the 30-yard line, and that's where he's going to be brought down, right at the 30, 31-yard line for Cannon Turner. And uh, this is going to bring up third and four now for the Badgers. Yeah, Cannon deciding to uh, keep that one. Had it in the belly of Zion. Hatley pulled it out at the last minute, was able to gain two yards. Uh, or excuse me, four yards and set up the third and four. Big play here for the Badger offense. You want to keep a drive going because Boxside is going to try to keep the ball the entire time, and there are only six and a half minutes left to go in the second quarter. No backs in the backfield. Turner going to throw the screen pass to Thomas, but there's going to be like a flag. like a false start. Yeah, false start on the Badgers, and that's going to put them back to third and nine. Definitely not the kind of situation you want to be in, and they had a good screen play lined up for Buster Thomas on that. 
third and four. Yeah, they had numbers. They had three receivers over two defenders, and uh, that was probably going to be a first down. Instead, it's a third and nine situation. On this near sideline, Dawson Dabbs and Seth McDowell both playing uh, in the defensive backfield. So lots of these box side players going both ways tonight. We'll see if that comes into play as we get deeper into the ball game. Cannon Turner at quarterback, third and nine. He's going to fake the handoff and roll out to his left. He has pressure. He's going to evade a defender, throw it, an open Alec Rubel across the 40-yard line. That's a first down. That's Staten Whitten there with the catch. Says, not only does Boxside have hard numbers to read, but Arkadelphia does as well. Those, uh, the red <laughs> on the blue, I can. that's partly my fault. Apologize. <laughs> as soon as I saw Steve Patterson and Jeff on our first game of the year, I said apologize. But great catch about that time by Staten Whitten. Great throw by Cannon Turner. Quickly in the no huddle offense, Cannon Turner taking the read option up the middle, and he's got good yardage out across the 45 down to the 47 yard line of Arkadelphia, and that's a good gain from Cannon Turner. It's second and five. This is a good situation here for Arkadelphia. They're ahead of the chains, and they just brought in their big play man, Victor Tadme. Yeah, 5:45 remaining in the second quarter. A uh, good drive by the Badgers. You want to keep making positive yardage. Still hadn't seen Zion Hatley with a touch. Uh, they're going to want to get him involved. But, you know, Boxside is keying in on that as well, especially on those uh, uh, sweet plays. Ball on the far hash and three wide receivers on the far side of the field. Keenan Turner in the shotgun going to hand it off now to Hatley. He's got some room to run up the middle, and he makes a guy miss, and he's out across the first down, out across the 50, down to the 46, 45-yard line of box eye, and that's a first down for Arkadelphia. Good first run of the game from Zion Hatley. Good downfield running that time by Zion. He, made a, he was headed to the right, made a cut right up the middle, and ran downhill, ran over somebody, was able to get positive yardage as he fell. Arkadelphia leaving Tadme out on the field. He's going to play receiver on the far sideline. Zion Hatley's going to remain in the backfield with Turner, receiver on the near side. Receiver comes in motion for Arkadelphia. It's Thomas. They're going to hand it off to him. He's going to look for space and find the sideline. He's going to cut up at the sideline, and that's going to be about a five-yard gain for Buster Thomas. So a lot of running there, only going to pick up five yards, uh, but down across to the 41 yard line yeah uh, Buster Thomas that time just showing uh, how fast he really is I'm just getting by um, a lot of box side uh, defenders on the play just breaking it up the sideline able to pick up about five yards on that play which is not making second and five Turner lining up once again and they're going to send Alec Rubel in motion this time and Rubel is going to stop at fullback Turner's going to take the snap, but there's a flag out on the field at, at the time of the snap. So that's a false start against Arkadelphia, and that's going to pull them back to second and nine here. Going to put them all the way back to uh, the 41, the 40 yard, the 45 yard line, excuse me, the 45 yard line of Oxide, second and 10 uh, now for the Badgers. And that definitely uh, makes it a more difficult situation for this offense. Yeah, you got to avoid those kind of plays. The uh, second time we've seen that on this drive, Badgers do that. Um, would have been second and five, now it's second and ten. I'm um, still going to have to get a lot of yards here on these next two downs. Four receivers in the set for Arkadelphia. Zion Hatley to the left of Turner, and they're going to hand it off to Hatley. Hatley has a little bit of room on the far sideline, and he's going to dive forward to the 40-yard line. He's going to get right back to the previous line of scrimmage. Going to make up for that penalty, but it's going to be once again here for Arkadelphia, uh, third down in five. Yeah, good running again, once again from Zion Hatley, um, going out to the right side, just trying to find some space, and was able to do so that time, was able to pick up five yards, like you said, Caleb, eliminating the penalty on the play, but now a very crucial third down once again for the Badgers. They're going to give, they're gonna give Hatley a better spot than we thought there, out, out across the 39, so it's going to be third and four now, Arkadelphia is going to line up four wide receivers, and Hatley is going to take the snap. They're going to hand it off to Hatley, excuse me, and he's going to get out across the 35, and that's a first down for Zion Hatley. Making some guys miss in traffic and uh, pushing forward for a first down to the box height 34-yard line is Zion Hatley. Good run, and this drive stays alive. Again, good downhill running that time by Zion Hatley. You, see, you like... You've seen Zion Hatley run. He likes to go outside and be able to cut, but that time he was able to make a cut back up the middle and go forward, falling down, and get the first down. Three receivers in the set now. Witten's going to scoot into tight end. 
Uh, and Hatley and Turner are going to run the read option. Turner elects to keep it. He's going to be met immediately uh, by box side defenders. There's two box side defenders bringing him down behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to be a loss of two for Cannon Turner. A loss of three, excuse me. Second and 13 now for the Badgers. And that really just kills you right there, uh, Cannon Turner, keeping himself instead of giving it to Zion Hatley, which might have been a better idea. But I think, it, I think at that point with the two box side defenders, I think um, – the option play was going nowhere, and that time Ken Turner was hit immediately as he kept the ball, resulting in a loss of three. Cannon Turner's going to throw a screen pass now to Buster Thomas. He's going to be met immediately and brought down behind the line of scrimmage. He catches the screen, and he is hit. Uh, and that's going to be a big loss for Arkadelphia, second play in a row. That'll be another loss of four now for the Badgers. So this is going to be a third and 17 situation now. Uh, we, I wouldn't be surprised to see Arkadelphia try and throw it deep to Victor Tademy. Yeah, Seth McDowell on the tackle that time. We've seen Seth McDowell at quarterback. He had the big interception uh, on the previous Arkadelphia drive on the first play and then had a big tackle there by, of Buster Thomas. Big plays uh, by Seth McDowell. Cannon Turner in the shotgun. He drops back to pass. He has some pressure, but he's going to launch it deep to Tademy for a jump ball. And Tademy, I'm not sure who got it there, and it looks like Tademy caught it. No, they're going to say that it was intercepted. The jump ball, and it was hard to see who came down with it. Both players looked like they had control of the football, but it's going to turn out to be Elijah Cruz from box site who comes up with it. And it's going to be interception. It's going to be box site football down at the one-yard line. So that was a nice throw from Turner, and he just threw it up. And a lot of times you think Tad may be able to come up with it there, but this time box site's cornerback maybe – just able to rip the ball out of Tatum's hands and get that interception and give uh, his team the football. Yeah, I didn't see the end of the play. My view was blocked, but I did see a lot of pressure on Cannon Turner. I believe he was hit when he threw that ball. It came out of his hand. It was wobbly, and that uh, uh, could have had something to do with it, but good play by Boxite defense. Uh, Arkadelphia has Boxite pinned now, and so you hope that you can be able to come up with some stops on first down that you haven't had previously. Only two minutes left to play in this uh, first half, and that's a Run up the middle for box site. Nothing really going for them. Uh, not any gain there for the Miners. They're going to keep the ball out of their own end zone and stay away from a safety, but that's about it. Second and ten uh, for box site. Yeah, it's going to be really important here for Arkadelphia's defense to keep box site pinned deep. Um, just over two minutes left here. Uh, might be thinking about taking some timeouts, um, possibly after this play if box site doesn't look like they'll get a first down. Um, but box had important play here um, with just a little over two minutes left. Box side loading the box. They're in their goal line set. McDowell mm. is going to hand the ball off up the middle. Wow. And he's and they're going to break he's it. Gone. Dawson Dabbs broke the play there. And Tatamy's chasing him. It's crossed the 50 to the 40. And Tatamy's caught up with him now. And he's going to bring him down to the 25-yard line. A great, great effort there from Victor Tatamy catching Dawson Dabbs. And Dabbs thought he was gone. Dabbs thought he had a touchdown all the way across to the Arkadelphia 25-yard line, and he just broke out of a dog pile there. You thought he would be down, and he's such a shifty guy. He's five foot seven, not very tall. The defense just lost him. Thankfully for Arkadelphia, they have an athlete like Victor Tademy able to bring him down, and, our, and now Boxite has the ball on the Arkadelphia 25. Well, what a play by Victor Tademy. Uh, he was on the backside, and he came from across the field, and Dawson Dabbs does not get caught from behind very often. Victor Tademy, great job of extending the drive, keeping it alive. And I believe Boxite is going to call a timeout. Yeah, we're going to take a 30. What? I don't know what we got going on. The uh, White Hat is talking. There's not a break in the action. We don't have a timeout called. We have the head referee talking to the Boxite coaching staff about something. And it wasn't the head coach. So now we're back to action, ready to play. Interesting. All right. So a minute 52 left in the second quarter. Uh, and Boxite's got the ball on the Arkadelphia 25-yard line. McDowell under center, three running backs in the backfield. McDowell's going to hand it off. This is Sandage this time. He's got a nice gain out to the 21-yard line of Arkadelphia. Give him four yards on that play. Uh, Arkadelphia able to keep him from getting much more than that, but still uh, staying ahead of the chains for Boxite. Yeah, I think the Badgers demons here uh, with just over a minute and a half left are just trying to keep him out of the end zone. Fighting the clock, uh, Boxite offense here. 
Um, their running style offense is not really helping them in this situation, but they're but it looks like they're going to be running again once again. Under center once again is McDowell, and he's going to take it himself out across the 20, uh, and he's going to be brought down by a herd of Badgers on about a gain to the 18 of Arkadelphia. So it's going to be third and three now for Boxside, and this is a big uh, situation for the Badgers. The clock ticking down now, under one minute left to play in the first half, uh, third down and three for box side. Yeah, that first down marker is just inside the 15, so they just have to get – they don't even have to get all the way to the 15, so it's a short three yards, uh, almost closer to two, but it is it is longer than two, but not a full three. And box side offense, is, it looks like they're going to run this one down and possibly call a timeout to set things up. Big play here in the uh, in the ball game, actually. If Arkadelphia can hold box side off the board or to a field goal, it's still a one possession game. Yeah, our box side's going to call a timeout. So we'll take a 30 second break here on the radio uh, as box side calls a timeout. We'll stay right here on the live stream and bring you some of our sponsors. Uh, tight game here. We're thankful for these guys, though, for. Coming in for us, Arnold Batson, Turner and Turner, State Farm, Austin Wingfield, State Farm Agency here in Arkadelphia, Blake Bell of Edward Jones Investments, Turner, Rogers, Manning and Plyer, PLLC, uh, Southern Bank Court, Eddie Arnold at Jostens, Twin Rivers Health and Rehabilitation, Welch Funeral Home, Doctors Gary and Rob Rucker, Southwest Sporting Goods, and Taylor King, personal injury lawyers. Thank you so much for all of our sponsors sponsoring this live stream, uh, as well as the J.R. Eldridge Show uh, every Tuesday and Wednesday evening at 7 o'clock on Arkadelphia Cable Channel 10. Uh, this is going to be an exciting week of the show. This is an exciting game. Box side with the ball now. One back. On the Arkadelphia 18-yard line. It's going to be a direct snap to Cruz. Going to pitch it back to the quarterback. And it's a fumble. And there it's going to be a... Madhouse scrambled for the ball, and I think Boxite fell on it. Boxite did fall on it, but it's going to be fourth and long now for the Miners. A trick play there, trying to pass the ball back to Hunter Davis. He's their passing quarterback, has not run hardly at all this year. And now Boxite has a fourth and 12 uh, at the Arkadelphia 27 yard line. They're going to call a timeout and talk about it. There's only four seconds, excuse me, there's only 10 seconds left in the game. So this is a really <laughs> A big play here for Arkadelphia if they can keep Boxite off the scoreboard heading into halftime. Yeah, Boxite does have a good kicker. I believe he's a foreign exchange student, so never has played football, but he is a, a good kicker. Watched him kick during pregame. That that time, Seth McDowell, they were lined up in a one-back set. Uh, it looks like for Boxite, Elijah Cruz, their uh, kick returner, cornerback, wide receiver, was lined up as the running back who was about five yards deep. McDowell looked like he was going to line up in the shotgun. He start, walked up, started giving – uh, signals to his offensive lineman. Uh, obviously, if you're on the live stream, you saw this, but describing it for our radio audience. And as soon as McDowell got outside uh, the right tackle, they snapped the ball to Cruz, and he was running on a pitch to uh, a wide receiver coming across. And that's when the, the pitch was behind the receiver coming back on the reverse. Uh, fortunately for Boxite, they were able to fall on it. And it looks like they're going to they're, – they're, they're not bringing a kicker out. Yeah, Hunter Davis is going to be on the field. He's the quarterback, the throwing quarterback for Boxite, and they've got three guys in the backfield, one receiver. It's Cruz. Give me a timeout here, and Arkadelphia is going to take a timeout and talk about this one. That's a bit of a different formation for Boxite. So the Badgers are going to talk about it now. It's going to be fourth and 12 whenever we come back, but uh, we'll take a 30 second timeout once again here. Back on our live stream, and <clears throat> good timeout that time by the uh, Arkadelphia defense. You had two left. Uh, you may have had three left. It says two timeouts left now on the board. Not sure if that was their first or second, but regardless, with 10 seconds left, this is a big play. It's a three-point game right now, fourth and 12. I had assumed, although that would be a 22 plus 17, a 39-yard field goal attempt. They don't believe in their kicker that much, and so they are going to try to go for the end zone here. So uh, this is a, a zero or six play. The one who, the team who makes this play whether it's box side offense or Arkadelphia defense, has a leg up going into halftime coming out for the second half. A big play here. Uh, Cannon Turner is going to be at safety here on this play. Trips to the right side for box side. Davis at quarterback. One receiver to the near side. Davis takes a snap. He's got pressure. He's going to throw it deep. It's going to be a jump ball, and it's going to fall to the ground. 
It's going to fall to the ground, an incomplete pass, and uh, it's going to be Arkadelphia football. The clock didn't run on that yep. play. I believe they're going to put five seconds on the clock. Uh, the stadium clock did not run, and so that's what I ended up having was five seconds on the play clock. So now they're going to run it down to five, I believe, and yeah. okay, now we'll go to four. So let's adjust ours. So great stop that time by the Arkadelphia defense. You know, we talked about you know, I don't want to belabor Let's just remember that play. Remember that play at the end of the half that Boxite was not able to get on the board. Arkadelphia was able to come up with a stop and keep this to a three-point game. Yeah, it was a huge stop there for the Badgers, and especially with the way Boxite runs the football and takes time off the clock uh, to keep them off the scoreboard and keep their lead at uh, you know a maximum of three points heading into the half. That's huge. Well, and also because Boxite gets the ball coming out of, the, out of halftime. Arkadelphia going to line up in victory, make sure you have a good snap, uh, to, to knee this ball and send it to halftime. Yeah, Cannon Turner is going to be under center here, and he's just going to kneel the ball, and uh, the clock's going to run and go into halftime. So your halftime score here, Boxite 6, Arkadelphia 3, a quick first half, but a first half full of action. We'll be back in two minutes uh, to talk about it. And for our live stream listeners, we will keep the uh, score ticker up. So if you're in uh, uh, tuning in during halftime, you'll be able to tell what part of the game it is. But we will bring you the Arkadelphia Badger Pride Marching Band performance. This is the only part of our halftime show that we have tonight. Box Heights Band will not be performing. And so the Arkadelphia Badger Pride Marching Band will have its performance. After that, we'll have some statistics from Dr. Jim Rothwell. And then we'll talk about the second half uh, as we get ready here in Arkadelphia for halftime. As soon as we hear, as soon as we hear Steve Patterson announce the band, we will turn it over to him. The Badger Pride Marching Band is uh, preparing for its state championship marching contest Tuesday. Uh, that's October 30th at War Memorial Stadium. They do perform in the evening around 6.30, I believe. Don't quote me on that. We'll put it out and let you know when they are. But uh, it is an uh, evening performance. They have the last performance of the evening in the Class 4A uh, as being the largest band it looked like on the, the list of bands that they go by the size of the band. Arkadelphia with 122 members, one of the largest in Class 4A. We'll get the last performance slot of the evening but uh, this band was in a competition on tuesday at the regional marching assessment at lakeside high school superior rating they did a great job at their previous competition on saturday at the championship on the rock that was last saturday the 20th uh, in little rock they ranked high percussion they finished tops in their class but more impressively as the in the overall in the finals they finished third which was higher than bands such as Cabot, Benton, Greenbrier, Greenwood, Alma, uh, Bossier City Airline High School out of Louisiana. So let's sit back and enjoy the Badger Pride Marching Band and their halftime performance. Ladies and gentlemen, Arkadelphia High School is proud to present for your halftime entertainment the back-to-back 2016-2017 Arkansas State Marching Champions, the Arkadelphia High School Badger Pride Marching Band. The band is under the field direction of drum major Samuel Coventry, and tonight the band will perform its complete award-winning 2018 competition show Ghost in the Machine. Ladies and gentlemen, sit back and enjoy your Badger Pride Marching Band.
The Academy High School Badger Proud Marching Band! On Tuesday night of this next week at War Memorial Stadium, your Badger Pride Marching Band will defend the 2016-2017 championships at 6.30 in the evening this Tuesday night. Be at War Memorial Stadium. Welcome back to All Care Field at Badger Stadium. We're at halftime, and the score is box site six, Arkadelphia three. Chris Babb here at halftime, along with Jim Rothwell. And Jim, why don't you take us through some of those halftime, uh, first half statistics, and then we'll talk about the first half. Well, there's really not a lot uh, statistically wise. Uh, uh, Arkadelphia Cannon Turner was two out of four for nine yards. He did the two he missed were the two big uh, plays with the interceptions. Uh, Again, a couple times on those, it looked like Tadmy had a step. One of them, uh, Cannon got hit just as he was throwing, so that was that last interception. Got to get some yardage passing to loosen up this box site defense a little bit. Uh, running, um, Hatley who is four carries for 21. He looked good on a couple of runs uh, there. And then Turner has uh, seven carries for just 10 yards. Got to have more running yardage from them. Um, uh, that's a total of 96 yards rushing. But if you look at box site, they've got a total of 208. But 70, almost 70-something, uh, or well, more than 70, came on that one run, uh, or about 70 of it came on that one run. So they've got about 125 if you take that one long run out. So Arkadelphia's defense is playing pretty good. Very, uh, early on, Boxite was picking up some yardage on first down. When Arkadelphia stopped some on first down to two or three yards, they seem to do well. They, get, they hold Boxite with that. Uh, uh, Boxite's passing. They completed two or three for 24 yards, a couple of big plays for first downs, very effective in using the passing. And that's what Arkadelphia needs, to be effective in using that passing game uh, to pick up that first down when they need to. Yeah, you know, you're going to look at this game most likely, the first half anyway, and it's not about statistics because it's about it's about plays, big mm -hmm. plays. Arkadelphia had a big play on defense there right before the break. We talked about it to get a stop and hold Boxside off the scoreboard. In the first half, I think Boxside had a couple of big plays, a third down.
down stop, forcing the field goal. It was a third and two. Arkadelphia got to the one on fourth and goal from the one. They decided to take the field goal, and they got the three. And the box site's second big play of the first half came on a third down, uh, third and eight maybe. I don't quote me on that, but it was a third and long situation. That's when one of their three pass completions, two or three, I don't remember what yeah, you two, said, but two yeah. pass completions came. So it's not necessarily a, a battle of statistics because Arkadelphia won the field position battle. Uh, the scoring drive came after a, a Arkadelphia defense forced a stop and it was a short punt. But it's a, uh, it's been a, a first half of plays. We'll see how that uh, translates into the second half. Uh, that's true. Just a uh, play here or there. Again, the interceptions have really not hurt Arkadelphia. One of them was just like a, a punt down there. Yeah. Obviously, you would like to have kept the ball, kept a drive, maybe get a chance to score. But – with that situation, that was just as good as a punt, pinning them deep. And, again, hoping maybe to get the ball back with the short field with a little bit of time left. Again, we saw Devs break a long run and and uh, get out of that uh, field, bad field position for Boxite. Well, and I mentioned I, I heard about Boxite's uh, place kicker, and I, I, I was under the impression that uh, they felt pretty confident. But that we mentioned that would have been a 39-yard field goal attempt. I'm pretty confident that Arkadelphia would try to get Goodman out there to try to get three more points before halftime. But I don't want to belabor the point, but that was such a big play. And you go back you, you go back and look at different uh, plays, and uh, I, I think those are a couple, going to be a couple of plays that, that we look at. Sorry about the hiccup there. We, mm. we lost one of our uh, microphones and not sure what happened to that. We'll have to check it out. And now we've lost our camera. And so uh, – uh, Jim, if, if there are any more sets, let's, let might not be a bad time to take a take a break. Okay, <laughs> we're going to see if we can uh, if we can get our camera back and maybe our other microphone back. Uh, it's halftime, Arkadelphia. We definitely want it back before the second half. That's right, uh, box eye. Okay, we're back on camera, but we'll go ahead and take uh, another two minute timeout for our uh, radio uh, sponsors, so you can get uh, some uh, play there, and we'll be back to Arkadelphia halftime. Box eye six, Arkadelphia three. Back to Allcare Stadium at Badger Field after this two-minute timeout for radio. Back on the live stream, uh, Jim, let's go ahead and think, take this time to thank our sponsors. This, this is the longest halftime uh, show that we've had since the first week of <coughs> excuse me, the season. Uh, the uh, uh, Boxite Band decided, told Coach, uh, Mr. Lloyd that they were not going to perform, so we knew that halftime was only going to be the Badger Pride Marching Band. Let's take a look and thank our sponsors uh, for this year. Southwest Sporting, uh, Taylor King and Associates, Southwest Sporting Goods, Drs. Gary and Rob Rucker, Welch Funeral Home, Austin Wingfield State Farm, Blake Bell of Edward Jones, Turner Rogers Manning and Plyler, Southern Bank Corp, Eddie Arnold of Jostens and Twin River Health and Rehab, And sorry about that. We're getting some feedback. And so then we've also got uh, Arnold Batson, and Turner, and Turner. So thankful uh, for those sponsors uh, that uh, that have been been uh, assisting us all this uh, year with, with the live stream and with the uh, J.R. Eldred show. Uh, Jim, as we look at these graphics, I, I have an image left over from last week of the radar image we've uh, put up. Uh, <laughs> rain has been a... Uh, uh, a factor in a lot of these games in, in football, not only high school, but junior high, high school, college, but an absolutely beautiful night here uh, in Arkadelphia on this Friday evening. Yeah, Friday night under the lights uh, in late October. It doesn't get much better than this, particularly when you've got a good ball game. I was just looking. Dabs uh, had five carries for 112 yards. Again, I think about 75 yeah. of that came on that one run, one run. So a good job of holding him. I mean, that's about – 30, 35 yards and a half. Yeah. Other than that, again, he is, just has that capability. But he's got that speed, too. But Victor Tatamy ran well, him down on that. Yeah, That's I should have. You, you, you mentioned that. Sorry to cut you off, but I should have added that to the plays of the first half because uh, talking to Coach Eldridge before the game, he said, I said, how, how fast is he? He said, he's fast. He said, yeah. he's at least the second fastest person in the conference in track, if not the fastest. Uh, you know, and he did a great job of uh, uh, finding that hole. But – Another big play, you come down to it. I can't believe I hadn't, hadn't thought of yeah. it before now. But uh, Victor Tatamy catching dabs, uh, that was a play of the first half almost. Because then you're looking, if nothing else, it's 13 to three box side with all the momentum going in at halftime, getting the ball. and getting the ball to start yeah. the third quarter. So add that to the list of three or four big plays. That might be the biggest of the first half. Jim. That's tr that's true. And again, uh, Tatamy showed his speed because he came from the other side of the field to run him down. And uh, when I saw Dabs break it, I thought. 
knowing his speed and his reputation, like, he's gone. And then you look and Tatum is gaining on him. Yeah, I, I think I, I think I said it. I said uh, he's gone, and then Tatum uh, uh, made me eat my words uh-huh. gladly because that uh, that was a, a a big play. Jim, give us your uh, thoughts on, on on what you expect to see, what you think will be some keys in the second half. Again, one of the keys will be coming out on this first drive for box side in the third quarter. Uh, you can't let them get another score, another, particularly another touchdown. With their offense, they can just eat up the clock on you after that. So you've got to keep it within one score. And so it's very important for the defense to come back, make a statement early, maybe get some good field position for Arkadelphia so that we can take advantage of it. And, uh, again, if Arkadelphia gets close, they're going to Goodman, and, uh, and uh, if nothing else, to try to tie this game at this point. Uh, that Goodman is a weapon. Again, we mentioned earlier that uh, Boxside has a great returner. Uh, averaging almost 38 yards on kickoff returns. Uh, they're over 300 yards. He watched it sail to, you know, uh, he didn't. it didn't go to yeah. him, but it went in the end zone in the first kick. So that's very important. Start him on the 20 uh, in the yeah. second half. Yep, Gabe Goodman uh, is the one who comes out uh, early uh, to get some kicks in before the rest of the Badgers, and he just nailed one from 51 from uh, almost the left hash with about five uh, yards to spare. But, yes, the, Jim, you're right. This is a big drive because Arkadelphia won't have very many possessions with Boxside having that uh, controlled offense. I think offense. It, each team had about four. And maybe f- with Arkadelphia getting that last one, it may have been five for them because of receiving it first. So uh, teams didn't have a lot of possessions. So you've got to take advantage of every possession that you get. All right, we're about to wrap up halftime. The teams are about to make their way back on the field for their three-minute warm-up period. When we come back, Jack and Caleb Caleb will join us, and we'll set up the second half. You're listening to Arkadelphia Badger Football on KDEL 100.9 FM and on our live stream on the Mascot Media app or ArkadelphiaBadgerTV.com. Chris Babb, Caleb Bird, Jack Bennington will be back to Badger Stadium and All Care Field in 60 seconds. And for our live stream, uh, we would like to take one more time at, at halftime to thank our sponsors, Taylor King and Associates, Southwest Sporting Goods, Drs. Gary and Rob Rucker, Welch Funeral Home, Austin Wingfield State Farm Agency in Arkadelphia, Blake Bell of Edward Jones, Turner Rogers Manning and Plyler PLLC, Southern Bancorp, Eddie Arnold with Jostens and Twin Rivers Health and Rehabilitation, and then also I'd like to thank Arnold Batson, Turner and Turner, Attorneys at Law, sponsors of the Arkadelphia Badger football live stream and the J.R. Eldridge show. During 2018. All right, Chris Babb, along with Jack Bennington, Caleb Bird, if you weren't with us at the top of the broadcast, um... We've got, uh, uh, obviously, the three of us are in the booth tonight. The voice of the Badgers, the football doctor, Jeff Root, is not with us tonight. We would like to send our uh, condolences to the family of uh, Dr. Paul Root, who, Jeff's father, who passed away this morning, a uh, longtime educator in high school and college, uh, impacted many lives over the course of many decades, uh, passed away this morning, and Jeff is spending some time with his family. Our thoughts and prayers are with the Root family. We look forward to seeing Jeff back in the booth next Friday night as the Badgers wrap up the regular season against Malvern. Chris Babb, Jack Bennington, Caleb Berg. Caleb, set up this uh, second half and what you expect to see, what you hope to see from the Badgers in the second half. Yeah, Boxite is going to have the ball. Boxite is going to have the ball starting out the second half, and we saw him go on some long drives in the first half. We saw a six-minute long touchdown drive. Uh, We saw a five-minute drive that ended – with an intercept, with ended in a turnover on downs, and then another uh, long drive to end the half. So Boxside's been on three long drives throughout the first half, and uh, to start the second half, I think we might see another long drive. Uh, and you know, Arkell has done a good job of keeping um, two of those drives out of the end zone, and they're going to need to do it again to start the second half, especially as Boxside wants to take control of uh, the game, take control of the clock. Arkadelphia is going to need to score some points. They're going to need to get Boxside off the field quickly in, in a couple of instances if they want to be able to come back and, um, you know, take this game and uh, have a shot at the second spot in the conference standings. And, you know, the Badgers defense has not played bad at all whatsoever. I mean, if you look at time of possession, uh, Boxside has clearly dominated. Um, but the, the key for this Badgers defense in the second half, I think, is really to just be able to play 
four solid downs of defense. Um, we've, we've seen so many times tonight uh, Badgers get great stops, uh, forcing long third downs or long fourth downs, and then letting Boxite get a get a long gain. Um, like we've seen so many times tonight, whether that be from Dabs or, or excuse me, um, Easton Sandage, uh, guys like them or even McDowell um, break away um, in this dead T offense. Uh, but it, really the key for this Badgers defense is to be able to play solid defense for four downs um, consecutively and be able to get the ball back. Yeah, it's going to be uh, a really tough battle uh, as we head into the second half in that. So uh, some scores from around the uh, conference here before the second half gets underway. Uh, Halftime in two games, we have mercy rule situations. Robinson leads Ashdown uh, big at halftime. At the same time, Robinson, or excuse me, or excuse me, Robinson leads Ashdown big, and then uh, Nashville leads Malvern big at halftime. So two um, big scores there, and two teams near the top of the conference uh, in the 7-4-A. And that's who the Badgers and the Miners are both battling against here as the second half gets underway. Uh, with a win tonight, Boxlight clinches. Their first conference title in 10 years. Uh, and with a win tonight, the Badgers have a chance to move into second place in the conference come playoff time, which would be huge uh, in terms of avoiding a uh, potential second round rematch with Warren, uh, which is what a lot of Badger fans might remember the state championship game last year. Want to avoid that. Gabe Goodman is going to kick off now to start the second half. The kick is deep, and the kick is going to be brought back by Cruz at the three-yard line. He makes... A uh, big hit by the Badgers before the 20. So that's a big stop for Arkadelphia. Dropping Cruz deep, and he's only going to get up to the 17-yard line. Huge stop there for the Badgers because Cruz averages 37 yards per kick return. Yeah, Elijah Cruz at that time um, looks like catching the ball at about the 2-yard line. I gave him not kicking it um, as deep as normal that time. Just a more high um, long shot dropping at the 2. Cruz picking it up bringing it up to almost the 20-yard line, but great job at this Badgers kickoff team covering all areas of the field, not allowing Cruz to get any space whatsoever. And Cruz, although he's fast and shifty, um, being only 5'10", 148 pounds, what we've got him listed here as, um, but that time not able to break away and brought down inside the 20. Three running backs in the backfield for McDowell, and he's going to hand it off up the middle, and that's going to be very minimal gain. Uh, five, six Badgers stopping him, and the Badgers say they have the football. One of the Badgers is falling on the football now, uh, and the referee, I think, is going to call for progress. So they're going to say uh, the runner was down before the Badgers were able to strip the football away. And it's actually going to be a two-yard gain for Boxite, so up to the 20-yard line for the Miners on first down. Yeah, kind of unfortunate there. That time, uh, this Badgers defense um, kept playing through the whistle and thought they had the football, but that time, whistle was blown before um, Badgers were able to get it. Once again, three running backs in the backfield. McDowell's going to hand it off. And bouncing it outside uh, for a short gain uh, is Boxite. He's going to – Boxite runner is going to be brought down at the 25-yard line by uh, three Badgers on a gang tackle there. And it's third and three. This is a big situation here for Arkadelphia. Yeah, big third down for this Badgers defense. Um, wanting to get the ball back. Need a great play from this defense here to get the ball back or else looks like Boxside will have another long drive. Boxside with the snap. They're going to go straight ahead up the middle, uh, and it's going to be met around the line of scrimmage, Good around spot. the first down marker, and we're going to see what the spot is. We're going to yeah. see what they give Boxside here on the spot. Forward progress is yeah. uh, going to be called, and we'll see exactly where they call it. It's yeah, very the far side near. The far side judge has his foot, his right foot, marked the ball. Uh, just inside the between the 28 and the 29, so it is a first and 10. Man. Just barely a first down there, uh, given four progress, because when the play ended, the ball was back around the 25-yard line. So, uh, you know, the forward progress there is going to give uh, Boxside a first and 10 situation. They're going to go into the wing tee now and switching formations again. Uh, McDowell's going to take the snap, and he's going to hand it off to Dabs on the right side. Dabs heading to the sideline, but he's going to be brought down by uh, Arkadelphia defender on the sideline. It's Carlos Haney. He's going to drag him out of bounds uh, for only a four-yard gain. And Dabs had a lot of space on the far sideline, but it was a good job by Haney from his safety position to run alongside him and keep him, uh, drive him out of bounds. Yeah, I think the key for this Badgers defense is to know that, uh, especially looking at it from that play, the Badgers uh, – Secondary men are a lot faster than um, Boxite's running backs in that time. Uh, Carlos Haney was able to 
um, chased down um, Dabs and able to bring him down and not let him get a first down on that play. Oxide lining up with no receivers in the wing tee. They're going to hand it off to Dabs again, and Dabs just going to fall down in the backfield. So Dabs uh, running to the line of scrimmage, and he almost did like a baseball slide in the second <laughs> base there, uh, falling down, and, uh, and that's going to be no gain on the play for Boxite. It's going to be third down in five now for the Miners. Yeah, it can be a little slippy on the slippery on this turf that time, and it looks like that's exactly what happened with Dabs um, trying to make a cut on that that time, but instead falling down right at the line of scrimmage will make another crucial third down for this Badgers defense. Once again, no receivers out of the formation for Boxite. Third down and five. It's going to be a handoff up the middle, and that's a big game. And a fumble. The ball is on the ground, and there's a pile of players over the football. Arkadelphia says they have the ball. We'll see what the referees say. They're trying to untangle the pile. They broke out for a first down, and the ball slipped out. And it looks like they're going to give the ball to Boxite. Boxite came out with the ball <laughs> at the bottom of the pile. And Man. Tell you what, Ricky Rogers Jr. standing there looking in disbelief. That's Kai Harrison. Kai He's Harrison. the one who came out. Uh, he uh, came out with the ball and not sure what happened. Uh, obviously, the, the official uh, ruled that Boxite had the ball uh, recovered the fumble and was down before Arkadelphia got the ball back. Run up the middle, a dive play uh, for Boxite. Now Arkadelphia players are po pointing once again, saying they have the football, but they're going to call them down. That's going to be a three-yard gain for Boxite on first down, a dive play up the middle. Yeah, another uh, quick uh, handoff uh, for Boxite up the middle, able to pick up a couple yards on that play. But this Badgers, uh, this defensive line has done a good job so far tonight of Blocking out those runs up the middle, and that time they did so just there. Boxite with the wing tee, only one fullback in the formation. They're going to send Dabs in motion, hand it off, fake the handoff. It's McDowell up the middle. McDowell's going to be brought down uh, by a big pile of badges at the line of scrimmage, but not after another short gain. So now the ball is at the 50 yard line. It's third and four for Boxite. Big play here for uh, uh, both teams. I mean, you hate to say it, we. Uh, Jim and I talked at the break, halftime break, about this is a game of big plays uh, in the first half, and this is the first big play in the third quarter. Arkadelphia sure would like to force a fourth down and a decision on Boxite's part. Wing T formation once again. One fullback in the backfield. Dabs in motion. They're going to pitch it to Dabs on the far side, but he's going to be stopped and dragged down. He's dragged down behind the line of scrimmage, but a foul, a flag, a flag comes out that at came the from, tackle. That came from the umpire, so that could be in the uh, area of holding. I believe we, we do have the umpire signaling to the white hat that that is going to be a hold on Boxite. And so uh, they are not going to talk to the Boxite. They're looking over to Arkadelphia. That's true. That is a hold called against Boxite. And now Arkadelphia is going to have to decide if they want the ball or the penalty. We'll have to see what they decide here. This is a down. big decision. Yeah, he wants fourth down. He's going to decline it. So it's going to be fourth down and – Seven, one, two, three. Now it is six. Fourth and six. Bringing the punt team out. And that was a big tackle by Arkadelphia in the huge. backfield. And the punt team's out now. Victor Tadme is back to receive the punt. Uh, we're assuming they're going to punt. Boxite switching a lot of personnel in and out um, af after that play. And Boxite does have a good punter, but he lines up very far back, uh, 15 yards back behind the line of scrimmage. And it's a rugby style punt once again. Line drive style punt, and then it's going to land uh, about the 25, roll down to the 22-yard line. So Arkadelphia with a stop on the first drive of the game, but not before five and a half minutes. Five and a half minutes run off the clock. So 6.26 left in the third quarter. Arkadelphia is going to have the ball when we come back in 30 seconds. And right here on the live stream, you're with us here. We're going to thank some of our sponsors, Arnold Bats and Turner and Turner, Southwest Sporting Goods, Doctors Gary and Rob Rucker, All Care Pharmacy, Welch Funeral Home, Twin Rivers Rehabilitation, and the Badgers are back out on the field. So Badgers are back on the field on the offense. Cannon Turner is going to hand it off to Zion Hatley at the middle. Hatley's got some space out across to the 30-yard line. That was a good run by Hatley. He's going to fall forward for a gain of eight. Yeah, good run there from Zion Hatley, just finding a little crease inside his own line and a great push from that offensive line to um, give Hatley a little bit of space once he was handed the ball and that time just went in between the offensive lineman there and dove for a couple more yards and was able to pick up eight on that play. Second and two for the Badgers out on the Arkadelphia 30-yard line. 
Man in motion for Arkadelphia is going to read option. Turner's going to keep it around the far side. He's got space out across the 40, across the 45, across the 50 to the 40. And he's going to dance out of bounds inside the 40-yard line. And they're going to call him out. Let's see where the officials spot the football here. They're going to say he stepped out of bounds on the 36-yard line of Bogside. That is a huge run from Cannon Turner. Uh, and that's going to flip the field. And Arkadelphia now has a fresh set of downs and good field position. That was the burst we know Cannon Turner has, but we did not see much of that in the first half. Good sign early in the third. Read option once again. This time they're going to hand off to Hatley. He's got space. He's out across the 20, uh, down inside the 20-yard line, and he's going to fall down at the 16. So another big run for Arkadelphia, 14-yard gain for Hatley, and this run game has come to life. And they're going tempo as well. They came out quickly at the first down on the first play of the drive, and they've run this tempo offense these last four or five plays and have been able to get huge chunks of yards. Yards? Yards. <laughs> Man in motion now for Arkadelphia. Two receivers on the left side. Rubel at full back. Hand off to Hatley up the middle. Hatley's got space. He's down inside the 10. He's going to be brought down by some box side players right around the 10-yard line. So Hatley with another good gain. And uh, we have Arkadelphia facing. I believe they're going to gain a gain of seven on that play. So I believe it'll be second and three. Second and three for Arkadelphia at the 10-yard line. And what the Badgers have done on this drive so well is spacing the field. Um, normally bringing out at least three or four receivers on every play, and that's allowed a lot of room to run for the likes of Zion Hatley and Kenan Turner. Harrison in at running back now. Turner's going to hand it off to Harrison. He's going to make a cut, and he's out across the five, across the ten, three, two, one. Touchdown, Arkadelphia. Kyron Harrison in the end zone, and that's a big run for Arkadelphia. They've just taken the lead. Thunder and lightning a little bit there. You know, Zion Hatley. <laughs> Has had huge three huge runs on that drive. Cannon Turner with one, and then you come with just a different a change of pace. Kyron Harrison, we saw it in the first half, just shot out of a cannon. He did the same thing there, got a hole in the linebacker, and once Kyron Harrison gets a full head of steam, there's not going to be a whole lot to bring him down. Goodman's kick is perfect, and the Badgers have a 10 to 6 lead now. 440 remaining in the third quarter, and that was a quick touchdown drive for Arkadelphia. We're going to take a 30-second timeout. When we come back, we'll have a kickoff. I'd like to thank our live stream sponsors, Taylor King and Associates, Southwest Sporting Goods, Drs. Rob and Gary Rucker, Turner Rogers, Manning and Plyler, PLLC, Southern Bank Corp, located, headquartered in Arkadelphia, Eddie Arnold with Jostens, and Twin, River, Twin Rivers Health and Rehabilitation, Welch Funeral Home, Blake Bell, Edward Jones, Austin Wingfield State Farm Agency and Arnold Betts and Turner and Turner Attorneys at Law, sponsors of Arkadelphia Badger football on live stream and the J.R. Eldridge Show, which airs each week with your host, Caleb Bird, and the voice of the Badgers for tonight, Caleb Bird. And Caleb, that was a great drive by the Arkadelphia offense. The defense needs to keep that momentum and come up with another stop. Yeah, it was a huge uh, opening of the second half here for Arkadelphia. Good stop on defense, forcing a punt. Not only after a five-and-a-half-minute long drive from Bogside, though, and Arkadelphia comes back out with a quick drive, getting a touchdown thanks to Kai Harrison, and now Gabe Goodman ready to kick. The ball is deep, and the ball is back into the end zone, out of the back of the end zone. A good kick from <laughs> Gabe Goodman, and that's going to avoid a return. Boy, eight yards that landed in the back of the R, and Badgers around that uh, the east end zone. The R is about eight yards deep. The end of that R is eight yards deep in the end zone. Great kick that time by Gabe Goodman. And what a weapon. You know, we talk about it every week uh, at the Arkadelphia Football Club luncheon. Gabe Goodman, and they, I think they have to find reasons not to give him special teams player of the week <laughs> sometimes, depending on – I think last week it was Vic because of his uh, punt returns. But Gabe Goodman every week has been solid on his kickoffs, extra points, and field goals, particularly last week, 41 yards in the mud. So Box is going to change formations now. Two wide receivers out deep, three running backs behind the quarterback. McDowell's going to hand it off, and he's going to be met in the backfield. And that is a big stop Arkadelphia. They're going to meet the running back in the backfield and drive him back. So they're going to give him forward progress uh, around the 18-yard line. Yeah, first hit that time was by Cole Turner, the linebacker. And when you have uh, – have the, you're playing against these offenses – those offensive linemen are looking to get the defensive linemen and the linebackers down, whether at low angle blocks or whatever. Cole Turner did a nice job of finding a gap and making a tackle, forcing a loss. 
Box side now. It's second and 11. They're going to go to the shotgun. McDowell in the shotgun is going to take the snap. He's going to hand it off. Uh, and that's a nice run to the sideline. He's going to pick up a few yards out across the original line of scrimmage, but he's going to be down within the 25. Uh, so box is going to face third and long here uh, from their own 24 25 yard line. Yeah, third and five. Uh, it's the same situation Boxside had in the previous drive. The Arkadelphia defense won that battle. And here comes another battle in a one possession game, a 10 6 game with time dwindling. Possessions are at a premium. Arkadelphia defense can get a big plus if they come up with a stop on this play. Yeah, Boxside's going to line up in the shotgun once again. Two receivers out wide, a fullback and a running back in the backfield. And they're going to throw a ball on the screen. And it's going to be, ah, and they miss the tackle on the screen. And down the sideline, across the 40, across the 50, across the 40, the 30, the 20. And he's going to be brought yeah. down around the 15-yard line. There's going to be a flag for a illegal block against Boxite. It's going to call the play back. Uh, but that was a big run, and it could have been brought down. That play could have been brought down behind the first down marker. The uh, box site receiver, I think it was Cruz on the far sideline, made a badger miss uh, right around the line of scrimmage, and it's going to be brought all the way back uh, from the Arkadelphia 15, and the referees are marching the ball back. Uh, with yeah, back still to be the a, box outside of the field. Yeah, still going to be a first down. I believe the ball is going to be right at the 50. Uh, good call that time by the official. But Arkadelphia was there, just just missed the tackle. And Cruz had a lot to do with that because he is uh, quick. Uh, he found the seam, got bur burst through the hole, uh, got behind, got by through the two Badgers that were over there, and uh, was able to find uh, find a crease. Yeah, Cruz is a player that doesn't get the ball very often, but when he does, he's very dangerous. Uh, as as can be told by his average of 38 kick uh, kickoff return yards per game. I like the Tatami on Cruz matchup over here, though. Drop the fumble. There's a drop snap by Boxite. They're going to fall on it behind the line of scrimmage, but that hurts. Boxite lines up in the shotgun, and the snap is dropped by the quarterback, and that's a negative two-yard play there for Boxite. And, you know, that really hurts to get behind the chains when you run box tight style of offense. You know, you've seen the McDowell running over getting the plays, but that time I believe it was the uh, passing quarterback, Hunter Davis, lined up back there as well. Now Davis is going to uh, wind out, uh, uh, line up as a wide out to the right, and they are uh, uh, back with two in the backfield. Two in the backfield, McDowell under quarterback, and he's going to line up the pass, and he's going to do a pump and go to Davis, and that play is well defended. Oh, it looks like it was well defended by McLean, but there's a flag on the play. We'll have to see who they called this flag on. Our Cadelphia coaches next door think it's an offensive pass interference. I think everyone on the box site side of the field thinks it's a defensive pass interference, and we'll see what the referees call. There's a lot of contact from both sides on the play, and they're going to call defensive pass wow. interference. I don't think McLean turned around and looked at the ball there. He was really uh, you know, watching the, the receiver's face uh, the whole time. And that's going to be a 15 Yard penalty against the Badgers, an automatic first down on an incomplete pass. Yeah, the, the only thing about that, like you said, uh, McLean didn't turn around there, but it looked like um, the box site receiver almost tried to tackle McLean um, and tried to prevent him from having any opportunity of catching the ball, but referee saw it the other way, and now box out of a first down. The shotgun, once again, is box out. They're going to hand it off up the middle. They're going to be met at right around the line of scrimmage, maybe a one-yard gain for box side, but there's five or six Badgers on the ball, and, you know, Arkadelphia comes up with the ball that time, actually. Uh, I think it was Rubel running out from the tackle with the football <laughs> and is tucked to his side like he's ready to score a touchdown. Well, but. You, you just think – sorry to interrupt you, Jack, uh, Caleb, but you just think that one of these times, at one of these points, when Arkadelphia is, gets in there and tries to get that ball, that they're, they're, they're going to come up with a turnover. Yeah, it's happened so many times. Uh, we're going to see what's happened. There's an injury on the field, so we're going to go to a 30-second timeout now on the radio. Welcome back to the on our live stream. We've got to take a little, another thank you to our sponsors, Taylor King and Associates, Southwest Sporting Goods, Drs. Gary and Rob Rucker, Welch Funeral Home, State Farm, Austin Wingfield, Blake Bell of Edward Jones, Turner Rogers Manning and Plyler PLLC, Southern Bank Corp, Jostens, Eddie Arnold of Jostens and of Twin Rivers Health and Rehab. And also thanks to Arnold Batson, Turner and Turner, attorneys at law. Thankful for their sponsorship of the Arkadelphia Badger football live stream and the J.R. Eldridge show. We'd like to give a plug to 
our district YouTube channel as well. You can watch all the JR Elder shows as well as the rest of the videos that we post on that from around our district. Many activities on APSD-TV slash on YouTube. In the shotgun once again is McDowell, and he's going to uh, keep the ball on the read option. He bounces it around to the sideline. He's going to be pushed out of bounds, but not before he gets a nice gain on the play. He's going to be pushed out of bounds at around the 30-yard line. They're going to give him the 30. So that is a nice gain from McDowell, and it's going to bring up third and three on the Arkadelphia 30-yard line. This is another big play from the Badgers. If they make a stop right here, it's likely four down territory, but this would be huge to keep Boxy out of the end zone on this drive. You know, like you said, Caleb, it's it's a likely four down territory for um, the the miners, but still a huge third down to try and keep Boxside out. Boxside lining up with two backs in the backfield, two receivers out wide. McDowell's going to hand it off to Sandage, and Sandage is going to be hit at the line of scrimmage, but the pile is going to be driven. It looks like past the first down marker, and they're they're going to give him the spot. They're going to give him the spot at the 26 yard line of Arkadelphia. That's enough for a first down. The Badgers hit him behind the first down marker, right around the line of scrimmage, but then the offensive line, the big offensive line from box side, is able to push uh, Sandage out past the first down marker and get a new set of downs for box side. Yeah, Sandage did a good job of running downhill, got past the change. Defensive change this time now. Cannon Turner in playing corner on one of the receivers. Victor Tatamy on the other receiver. Uh, in just a switch made in these last couple of possessions. McDowell back to pass. He's going to throw it to Davis on the sideline. Davis catches the ball. He's going to be driven out of bounds by Turner, but that's a nice gain in the passing game, and Boxer's being forced to go to the go to the air a little bit now, and it's second and one on the nine-yard gain. Yeah, we didn't really see much of this from Boxer in the first half unless they had to, but now throwing it on first down, I think maybe the first or second time we've seen that tonight, from the minors, but trying to mix it up a little bit to keep this Badgers uh, defense on their toes. Arkadelphia has to be careful. That receiver on the outside is Davis. That's their passing quarterback, but uh, quarterback under center is the runner, and he's through the middle of the line. Uh, nice run there. Uh, quarterback sneak, but that picked up a nice 10-plus yard run uh, for Seth McDowell. He's out inside of the five-yard line of Arkadelphia. That play happened so quickly, the Badgers didn't really have time to react, and they're going to bring him down at the four-yard line. First and goal now for Boxsite. All right, you've been but not broken, and then last time Boxsite was in this situation, we saw Ethan Sandage with a uh, handoff up the middle. Hard to stop him for a gain of less than four. See if Boxsite goes back to that right now. Yeah, Boxsite now under center. It's going to be a – taking himself the quarterback McDowell is going to take it himself he's going to be met he's not going to get in the end zone he'll be met right around the line of scrimmage maybe a one yard gain uh for box side the rate the video's gone out so we're going to bring you this like it's the radio you're going to hear on the live stream just like you would uh if you're listening on the radio it's going to be second and goal on the three yard line for box side this is a really big situation for the Badgers uh, three plays to keep out of the end zone, and that's getting into the quarter. So this clock has been rolling thanks to the box out offense, and now we're going to the fourth quarter. Arkadelphia leads 10-6, to six, uh, and we're going to have second and goal when we come back in 30 seconds. Right here on the live stream, we're going to ask you to stay with us. We sent, uh, sent Jack Bennington, Bennington upstairs to see if he can talk to our – camera operator to see if they can figure it out but uh, Caleb as we go into the fourth quarter uh, 12 minutes left Boxside had the ball for you know probably around nine minutes of that drive they went from 12 to 6 Arkadelphia scored uh, in about a minute and a half and Boxside had the remaining the drive the ball for the remaining uh, four minutes welcome to for our radio listeners we're back to action here at all care field at Badger Stadium and your score as we go to the fourth quarter, Arkadelphia 10, Boxsite 4. The Miners do have the ball second and goal at the two-yard line. Yeah, Boxsite 6. So it's Arkadelphia 10, Boxsite oh, sorry, 6 sorry about going that. into the fourth quarter. Four-point lead for Arkadelphia. Trying to monitor a cable, a cable hookup and talk is not smart for me. And we have a big play here as we come back into the fourth quarter. It's second and goal on the Arkadelphia two-yard line. Boxsite has the football. Uh, McDowell's in the game at quarterback. He's going to be under center. Two running backs in the backfield. They're going to take the snap, and McDowell's going to take it himself off the right tackle, and he's going to get in the end zone. The, the 
umpire is going to judge that he got in the end zone. So that's a touchdown for Boxite. Uh, 10 to 12 now. Boxite leads. And be interesting to see if Boxite yep. elects to go for two or if they elect to kick. Probably go. Well, they do have their place kicker coming on, which is uh, interesting. But if you do get the extra point here, you're up by three. So a field goal would not beat you. A field goal would just tie the game. But uh, Boxite looks like it's going to go for the extra point. Last extra point for Boxite went off the upright. This time it's a snap way over the head of the placeholder, and the kicker's just going to fall on the football. So that is another no-good situation, and that's a big play. That is a huge play in this game. Boxite's failed to get points after touchdowns twice tonight. Now they only have a two-point lead with a kicker as good as Gabe Goodman for Arkadelphia. You know, getting a – being two points behind is, is is a good situation to be in. Interesting there. I, I don't know what that snap. Neither the holder nor the kicker were looking for that snap to come at that point. Don't know if they were uh, mixed up. Don't know if, if uh, Boxite was going to try some type of fake or if it was just a very bad snap. Not sure uh, what the situation was there. You could see on the backside, on the on the other side of the field, the, the live stream, the, the Boxite coach is not very happy with that. But uh, they do take the lead, 12-10 now. A very quality Boxite minor team. Uh, I know that we have uh, uh, some of their parents who may be watching or listening tonight. Uh, we uh, welcome you. Glad we're, you're able to tune in. Uh, Benny Arnold, a Badger graduate from the class of uh, 1988, I believe. He played on the 1987 state championship team. Uh, sent me a message on Facebook today asking where the link was for people could watch. Benny is a an insurance agent in North Little Rock and lives in uh, uh, Boxite. His wife is an, uh, lives in Bryant. His wife is an administrator in Boxite School District. So his son is on the football team. So a little Badger blood there. A uh, nice kick here and two Badgers fighting over it. It's going to be, it looks like Carlos Bus Buster. Buster Thomas with the return. He's going to get across the 35 uh, out to the 38-yard line. So nice return there from Thomas. And it looked like two guys really wanted to get that return. Thomas was the one that ended up with the football and uh, Arkadelphia is going to have field position here at the 39-yard line. So that's better than what they've had so far on kickoffs. Uh, this first kickoff return, the Badgers have had the opportunity to take. Every other one's been kicked out of bounds. So Arkadelphia getting the ball on the box site, 39-yard line to start. And this is a big drive for Arkadelphia with the way box site has been running the clock tonight. Arkadelphia really needs a score on this drive. Yeah, every drive is crucial uh, now. Every drive is crucial now in this fourth quarter with just over 11 minutes left, so big drive here for the Badgers. Turner at quarterback, and he's going to hand it off to uh, Harrison up the middle. Harrison makes the guy miss across the 40-yard line. He's going to be brought down around the 43. So that is a four-yard gain from Kyron Harrison on the first uh, play of this drive, and Harrison with a nice cut to make that gain. Yeah, yeah, good play from Harrison there. Uh, just going out to the left side and just cutting back up, back up the middle, just trying to get as much yard as he can at that time. He's able to pick up four. Three, re re three receivers on the far side. One of them, Ruba, will come into motion. Uh, fake the handoff to Harrison, and Turner's up the middle. Turner makes a guy miss. He's across the 40, across the 30, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Cannon Turner. Arkadelphia takes the lead once again. A long run from Cannon Turner, showing off his speed once again. And Arkadelphia, that is a huge touchdown from Cannon Turner. Man, we've seen Boxite with so many long drives tonight, and that, and that time the Badgers have one of the shortest, probably the shortest drive, uh, touchdown drive of the night with Cannon Turner just showing off his track speed, um, running through the end zone almost to the bandstands. Could give Mr. Jim Lloyd a high five if he wanted to. Um, that time Badgers take the lead. Wow, what a touchdown from Cannon Turner. I'm um, gonna put the ball back side, back in Boxite's hands here momentarily. Kick is up and good from Gabe Goodman, and Arkadelphia has the lead once again. 17-12, Arkadelphia leads. 11-08 remaining in the ball game, and uh, this, is, this is getting to be a good one here. Things are heating up. We'll be right back to action after a 30-second timeout. Right back here on the live stream, this is turning out to be a uh, great ball game here in the second half. Boxite got on these long, methodical drives. They picked up a touchdown on their last one. But Arkadelphia's had two first, two second half drives 
two touchdowns. I think Arkadelphia has had the ball for less than three minutes of this second half. Uh, but they scored the most the, points. Jim, do you have the scoring drives over there? I know Arkadelphia, it took about a minute and a half the first drive. It was from the middle of six to somewhere about a minute and a half, and that was uh, 21 seconds because I had just posted Man. on Facebook that – with 11.30 left, Arkadelphia trailed 12-10. <laughs> now I gotta, you guys got to talk so I can update everybody. <laughs> All right, so Gabe Goodman is set up to kick off once again. He's had two kicks in the end zone tonight. One kick has dropped about the one-yard line, and the Arkadelphia kick team was able to bring down Cruz at the 17. So uh, kickoffs have been big for Arkadelphia tonight. We'll see how this one goes. The kick is off, and this kick is going to land – outside and Cruz is going to have a chance to return this one across the 10 he's going to be hit at the 15 and brought down big big play there by the Arkadelphia kick coverage to bring down Cruz uh, right around the 15 yard line the referees are going to give him the 16 and this is a huge play for Arkadelphia well you talk about defense being on the field a long time uh, you know you hear in football you, boy, you keep your defense out there a long time but as a defender you got to be a little bit more excited to be out there up 17-12 with a chance to preserve a lead and get a stop, even though you've been out there for such a long time. Yeah, good play that there by the Badgers secondary – or Badgers special team, excuse me, to take down the Cruz once again. We talked about uh, in the pregame just – how big of a weapon he is for box side, but that time just not able to get anything on that return. In the shotgun now is McDowell, he's going to hand it off. Hand off to the left side, and that's going to be stuffed by the Arkadelphia defense. Nice play by Arkadelphia. Only a two-yard gain for Boxite uh, out of the shotgun. Yeah, good play that there by the Badgers' defensive line, not allowing much of a push at all um, from Boxite's offensive line. And uh, the run there on that play was immediately stopped by the Badgers, only allowing looks to be about two or three yards on the play. Yeah, they're going to go back to the shotgun here. McDowell in the shotgun, one running back to his left, and they're going to hand it off to him. And he's going to be brought down. Mm -hmm. He's not going to be brought down. He's going to break the ball out to the left side, outside of a huddle of Badger. He's going to get out across the first down marker. So that was a good run by Boxside. It looks like he was going to be brought down, and he had about four or five Badgers looking him in the face, and he cuts around to the left side, the back side of the play, and picks up a first down out to the 27-yard line of box side, first and 10. Yeah, there was nothing there to the right side. Badgers had sniffed that out, and they had two, two guys had hands on and just couldn't bring him down. He did a nice job of uh, wiggling away, getting the first down yardage uh, to give get box side out over the 25. Once again in the shotgun, uh, and they're going to – Fake the handoff. McDowell's going to take it on the left side. He's going to bounce it outside of the sideline. He's got space across the 40, across the 45. He's going to be pushed out of bounds uh, at the 47-yard line. So big, uh, quick running there from McDowell, bouncing the ball out to the sideline, using his speed to get up to the 47-yard line uh, of Boxite. Yeah, good misdirection there from Boxite once again. Um, sending everybody to the right and then the quarterback running to the left side. Really not a whole lot of guys there. Was able to get by the one guy. On the left side, is able to pick up a first down on the play. Um, still inside their own territory, though. Badgers lead by five, 17 to 12, 9:47 remaining in the fourth quarter. Seth McDowell in the shotgun. He's going to take the snap. He's going to run it up the middle, and he's going to be hit right about the line of scrimmage. Maybe get a yard on that play. So good stop by the Badgers there uh, to stuff the line of scrimmage and uh, keep McDowell from getting a big game. Yeah, two-yard gain that time. Boxside has not fumbled the ball one time tonight. Uh, they've run it most of the time, obviously, but they've done a good job of securing the ball because Arkadelphia, you know, with that 9-5-9 philosophy, nine players within five yards of the ball 90% of the time, has done a good job of, 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 of swarming to the ball, trying to strip that ball out. But to this point, Boxside has done a great job of ball security. Hopefully the Badgers can, uh, can change that fortune. Boxside at their own 49-yard line now. McDowell in the shotgun, and they're going to take a timeout. Boxside's going to take a timeout now. 9.04 remaining in the fourth quarter. Arkadelphia leads 17 to 12, and we're going to take a we're going to take a 60-second timeout now. As we're back on the live stream, we'd like to take another time to thank our sponsors, Taylor King and Associates, personal injury lawyers. Taylor King on your side, by your side, and. You might have noticed Taylor's new commercial started running the last few weeks. Shot right here on all, on all Care Field at Badger Stadium. Southwest Sporting Goods, Doctors Gary and Rob Rucker, Welch Funeral Home, Austin Wingfield State Farm Agency, 
Blake Bell of Edward Jones, Turner, Rogers, Manning, and Plyler, PLLC, Southern Bancorp, Eddie Arnold of Jostens and Twin Rivers Health and Rehab. And then also we would like to thank again Arnold Batson, Turner, and Turner, Attorneys at Law, proud sponsors of Arkadelphia Badger football as we're back to action here from All Care Field at Badger Stadium with a second down and eight out of the break for the Miners. Interesting formation here. It looks like a lineman on the near side at receiver, a big receiver on the near side, three receivers. Mm -hmm. He's going to be passing now, and there's going to be a screen in the near side. It hits the Nothing. feet of Cruz, and that's going to be uh, no gain. So, yeah, Box Light put some linemen out on the near sideline trying to block for a screen, but not a good pass from Hunter Davis. The passing quarterback came in playing quarterback now, and it's – third and eight and they're going to keep Davis in the game they are big pressure that time from the defensive line of Arkadelphia forced uh forced the low throw it was Cruz coming back on a uh a, a, a screen pass Victor Tatamy was on his heels the ball was thrown low third and eight Hunter Davis in at quarterback and he's going to fake the handoff to Cruz and they're going to try to go for a screen again it's going to hit the ground that's going to hit the ground incomplete. Good pressure by Jason Campbell and Ricky Rogers in the backfield, and that's going to cause an incomplete pass. Fourth down and long now. What would you? What do you do now if you're box side? Well, that's why I'm not a coach. They are sending <laughs> McDowell back into the game. Uh, Davis is still out there, though. McDowell is back in the game. Fourth down and eight. Alec Rubel coming, checking in for... Arkadelphia, linebacker, fourth and eight. Big play, Caleb. Yeah, big play here for uh, Arkadelphia. McDowell in at quarterback. He's in the shotgun. Two wide receivers out wide. McDowell going to take the snap. He drops back to pass, and it's just a throw-up ball to Cannon Turner, and he makes the play. Cannon Turner, the quarterback, playing at corner, makes the play. He knocks the ball out of the box site receiver's hands on the sideline. That's an incomplete pass, and that's Arkadelphia football. Wow, huge play by Cannon Turner. He it was just a it was it's a bobbled snap. The snap was a little bit high, as Jim Rothwell tells us. It was about a five minute drive. Is that what you were saying? Oh, we need a five minute drive. I take that as well. But big play that time by uh, Cannon Turner. Lined up on the left corner. It was one on one, and the quarterback uh, McDowell. It was a high snap. He bobbled it, threw it up in the air. Cannon Turner did a nice job of face guarding without uh, making contact with the receiver. Big stop by the Arkadelphia defense. The offense has to convert here and make that uh, make it a, a two-possession game. Turner with the big stop on uh, defense, now playing quarterback. Buster Thomas is going to take the handoff from Turner. He's going to get across the 50, but he's going to be brought down about the line of scrimmage. So on the end around from Buster Thomas, he's going to be brought down for no gain on the play. Well, the handoff there wasn't the smooth. They're going to give him a... No, I'm sorry, I had the long, wrong original line of scrimmage. A little bit, not the, the smoothest of handoffs that time from Cannon to Buster, and I'm just glad Buster was able to hold on to that ball uh, when he had that contact. You know, those coaches preach two hands on contact, even down to the seventh grade. That's what Buster did on that, securing the ball. Cannon Turner's going to run the read option. He's going to take it himself up the middle. Breaks a tackle in the backfield. He's going to fall down for a little bit of a gain here. He's going to be called down at the 46-yard line. That's a three-yard gain for Cannon Turner on the read option. And now the Badgers face a third and seven. You wonder if they're going to be running the clock down a little bit now. The clock's down under eight minutes. These two plays have only taken 51 seconds off the clock, though. And uh, they're going to wait a little bit and get this play in. Yeah, you've, had, you've seen Victor Tatamy one-on-one -on -one in this situation. He has a very speedy Elijah Cruz. McDowell is the lone safety. He's only eight yards off the ball, but he does have an interception, uh, two interceptions to his credit. One of them was on a deep ball to Victor Tatamy that was underthrown. Yeah, Tatamy and Cruz on the near sideline matched up. Cannon Turner is going to roll out to his right to the far sideline. He's going to throw a bullet into the right end of the shoulder pads. Of Thomas, I believe that was, and that would have been a first down if caught, but it bounced off of his shoulder pads and fell incomplete. Arkadelphia was fortunate that time that uh, uh, Hunter Davis didn't uh, pick that pass off. Davis was the outside linebacker, his safety, uh, that uh, kind of uh, jumped that route a little bit, and he uh, almost picked it off. Buster still had a chance to pick it off or to make the catch, but nevertheless, it's fourth and long. Arkadelphia's going for it now. Fourth and seven. They're going to send, they're going to think about sending Thomas in motion and I think they're trying to uh, draw Boxside off sides, and Boxside's just going to take a knee. Uh, the defensive linemen are as Cannon Turner kicks it deep, and it's down within the 10. It's bouncing. Arkadelphia's running after it, and they're going to down it on the one-yard line. 
great effort there by the Arkadelphia wide receivers turned punt coverage team to run down the field and down the ball on the one yard line. Cannon Turner with a great punt. And now Boxsite's going to have to make a 99 yard drive if they want to take the lead. Well, they, <clears throat> I hate to be Debbie Downer, but uh, this is where Arkadelphia pinned him inside the five right before the first half, and Dawson Dabbs broke away from, for a long one. The Badger defense has to be uh, solid on its assignments, then also wrap up. You've got to be able to make tackles when you have your, uh, have your, uh, your opponent pinned deep like this inside the one-yard line. All right, so here we have it, guys. 7-17 remaining in the fourth quarter. Box site ball on their own one-yard line. Run up the middle here from McDowell, and he's, he's not going to be brought down inside the end zone. He's not going to get much of a gain either. Maybe one yard from McDowell, and they're going to give him two wow. yards. So that's a big push by the offensive line. Uh, I think they technically gave him one, uh, a long one. It looked like the guy on the box on the chain crew went a little bit farther than the official did. So a, a second down, second, second and nine, or a second and long eight. Uh, but Boxside is not taking the snap in the end zone now. They're not taking the snap in the end zone. McDowell's going to be under center. Two running backs in the backfield, two receivers out wide. McDowell, he's going to run it himself around the left side, and he's going to be met by Kyron Harrison. Kyron Harrison's going to meet him right around the five-yard line. That's where he's going to be brought down. And Harrison uh, did a nice job there. He stood up McDowell and then tried to rip the ball out from uh, his hands. He couldn't get the ball out, but the rest of his teammates came in and finished off the tackle. And it looks like they're going to give him to the six. Uh, Maybe the seven, closer yeah. to the seven. Yeah, they've been giving uh, Buckside a lot of good forward progress tonight, and we've seen it once again there, but still, nonetheless, it'll be third and four, huge third down. Third and four here for Boxite. In the, in the uh, shotgun now is the quarterback. He's going to hand it off, and it's going to be met. He is met by a host of Badgers, right, for no gain, and that's definitely not going to be a first down and fourth down situation here, and that's a huge stop from this Badger defense. And Boxite's going to have to punt here. Yeah, backed up 5.50, under, just under six minutes to go. Great job by the Badger defense of coming up with a stop. They're going to have to punt with the ball fourth and two inside the nine. You know, I, I wouldn't be, you know, you don't call a fake, you know, but I wouldn't, you got to be ready for anything. Victor Tadney set up on his 44-yard line, the punter standing five yards in the end zone. Yeah, deep, uh, deep position here for the punter. He's going to catch it in his own end zone. He's going to roll out. He's got a. Line drive kick. It's going it to hit, hit the. Hit, yep. It hits the box side player in the back, and that's going to give Arkadelphia a great field position now. So yep. Arkadelphia is going to get the ball on the 29 yard yeah, line. Yeah, box side is trying to say that it hit a Badger, but it didn't. It hit their one of their defenders straight in the back. And that's going to be Arkadelphia's ball at the spot of the first touching. They're huddling about this. I don't like the fact that they're huddling right now. Yeah, I, I don't like the fact that they're huddling right now. Uh, unless they're just trying to make sure they, yeah, okay. Yeah, I tell you what, Daryl Patton, the box side coach, he's been around. He's 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 a esteemed coach. He's won seven A state championships at Fayetteville. He's a uh, was a coach at Bryant for a long time, so he knows how to work a referee. Let, let, let me rephrase that. I don't <laughs> like it as an Arkadel. I, I think it was good mechanics by the officials to get together. I didn't like it as an Arkadelphia fan thinking that there was a chance that they could try to right. make that call. I, I want to make that clear. Tyrone Blanks, the White Hat, is a good official, and uh, I wanted to make sure that that was clear. So now it's going to be handoff to Hatley. Hatley's going to break across the 25. He's across the 20. He's going to be brought down and falling oh. forward to the 18-yard line. Falling forward to the 18-yard line of Boxite. Good run there by Zion Hatley. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> Zion Hatley, they're doing a great job just going through this Boxite defense. Just good downhill running. Uh, once again, we've seen so many times from Zion tonight, um, just know not to dance around, but just go as far ahead as he can. And that time, he get, he was fortunate there to be able to go by some Boxite defenders and be able to pick up another Badgers first down. Kyron Harrison is the back in the backfield now. Yeah, Turner at quarterback. Thomas is going to go in motion. He's going to hand it off to fake the handoff. Turner's got it on the left sideline to the 10, to the 5, in the end zone. Can it? Turner on the read option. He's got another touchdown in this game. The score, 23-12. to Badgers take a two-possession lead. And what a touchdown once again from Cannon Turner as we see the, re as we see the replay here. Um, Cannon Turner fakes the snap to Kyron Harrison, then just green grass for Cannon Turner going all the way to the end zone. Great block there from Badger's receiver that time. But Badgers take a two-possession lead, which is absolutely ideal. We see Gabe Goodman come on for the extra point, and it's good. 
The extra point is good for Gabe Goodman, and the Badgers have doubled box site score. 24 to 12, Arkadelphia leads. 441 remaining in the ball game. We'll have the kickoff when we come back in 30 seconds. <laughs> Still with us on the live stream. I'd like to thank our sponsors again. Taylor King and Associates, Southwest Sporting Goods, Drs. Gary and Rob Rucker, Turning Rogers, Manning and Plyler, PLLC, Southern Bank Corp, Eddie Arnold with Jostens and Twin Rivers Health and Rehabilitation in Arkadelphia, Welch Funeral Home, Arnold Batson, Turner and Turner, Blake Bell, Edward Jones, State Farm, Austin Wingfield, Caleb, Arkadelphia with a two-possession lead. But the, the, the mantra goes, you put on more steam. This is not the time to, to think that the, anything about this game is, is, is sealed. Uh, the game is still in doubt, and you've got to put on more steam when you have the momentum, and that's what the Badger defense will try to do on this possession. On the other side, you know Boxite's going to come out. They're not 8-0 no for nothing. They're going to come out and try to get a quick score, uh, break Dawson Dabbs loose for one, and, and get back on the board, get back in the game. Boxite was down last week against Robinson, was able to come back. Cruz takes the ball at the one-yard line. He comes across the 10. He's going to be hit at the 15 once again. That's a big stop once again from the Arkadelphia kick coverage team, and they've played this game perfectly. No time in this game has Boxite had the ball across their own 20-yard line. Boy, that is superb downfield headhunters kick coverage by the Arkadelphia uh, kick teams. Ben Chandler is special teams coordinator. They, they do work on special teams a lot more than a lot of other places, uh, and it uh, – it's showing tonight when Gabe Goodman does not kick the ball out of the end zone or in the back of the end zone, uh, the coverage team has a great job of getting by their blocks. You know, you saw as soon as Cruz caught the ball, he caught it at the one. By the time he got to the ten, he was already having to, to, to make moves to get a, away from uh, defenders because Arkadelphia came down unblocked and were able to make the stops. Yeah, this, this box site team is experienced. They know how to play in these situations, but they're going to have a different offense out here. Davis at quarterback, he's going to draw back to throw. Four guys going out for coverage, and that's a big tight that end a making the catch. Big tight end. <laughs> big tight end making the catch there for Boxside. That's number 89, uh, Zach Lesage. He's six foot three, two ten. The senior mm. also plays on the defensive line. Well, and not only that, so I cut you off again. Sorry, I'm, I'm out of practice with this, but he had a, he had Josh Wallace all over him. He made a great catch in traffic. Second down and three now after the nice pass play. Davis, the passing quarterback, remaining in. He's going to fake the handoff, throw a screen to Cruz. Oh. Cruz is going to be met, and he is going to be met by, I cannot. Victor Tadami. Yeah, That's Tadami. Victor on the far sideline with a huge hit on Cruz, and he just ran right through the star receiver from Boxite, and that is a big loss in the play. It's a loss of six for Boxite on a passing play. Huge stop there from Victor Tadami, and it's third and nine yeah, and the, for the minors. The referee is going to make Cruz come out of the game. He stopped him. Uh, he stopped the clock, and he's going to make Cruz come out of the game after that. Big read that time by Victor Tatamy. Big play, big tackle, uh, getting through the blocker, and he, he, bless his heart, Elijah Cruz was just there waiting for it. And Hunter Davis is going to stay in the game at quarterback. No one in the backfield with him. They're not even going to pretend like they're going to run the ball here. They are going to run the ball here. Davis up the middle. He doesn't have any experience running this year. Only nine yards on the year, and he's going to be – only gonna get one more, so that's ten yards on the ten yards on the year now for Davis, and uh, nothing going now. So it's gonna be fourth and six. Mm, I believe they're gonna call it five. It looks like a, a long five, but they're gonna have to go for it because you're not gonna punt the ball right now. This could be the ball game right here with just under three and a half minutes to go. Yeah, three twenty-two now remaining in the game. Hunter Davis at quarterback. The play clock now within four within fifteen seconds. No running backs in the backfield. Three wide receivers out wide. A fullback in front of Davis. Davis is going to drop back to pass. Screen. And he's going to throw a screen to that fullback. It's going to be tipped up in the air. Almost intercepted by Campbell, but it falls to the ground regardless. That's a stop for Arkadelphia, and they're going to get the ball back. First and ten, Arkadelphia. That could be your play of the game. Jim and I talked about it. It's not about drives this game. It's, it's been, or, or overall statistics because I think if you look at this, it's going to be pretty even statistically. This is a game of plays, and Arkadelphia has made the plays throughout this game. And although Boxite's team may think you see some Boxite fans start to, to head to the exits because this one is uh, – this one is looking in favor of the Badgers. First and 10 from the 21-yard line. 
3.05, as we change our clock, 3.05 left to go in the fourth quarter. The Badgers sure would like to put the exclamation point on this one and put it out of reach. Box site with the big win over Robinson last week. They move into number three ranked team in the state, and they're number one in the conference, undefeated on the season. Cannon Turner is going to try to add more points at quarterback. He's going to hand it off to Tatamy. Tatamy is going to be brought down in the backfield. And they're not calling a timeout, it doesn't look like. Yeah, and that's just going to run the clock down. The clock now stands at 2.55, and it's going to keep running. Uh, negative two yards there for Tad for Hatley, excuse me. So it's going to be second and twelve from the twenty-three. But the clock's running. Well, you're going to be about two twenty-eight, just under two and a half minutes when Arkadelphia snaps this ball. Yeah, the clock's running now, and this is the kind of situation where you might where uh, Arkadelphia's in field goal range. Yeah, they're going to run out. They only got eight seconds left on the play clock. We'll see if they're going to call a timeout or get a playoff. I believe they're going to call a timeout. Yeah, Coach Eldridge is going to call a timeout here right at one second. Uh, and they're just going to run as much time off the clock as possible. 2.23 left in the fourth quarter. Arkadelphia leads 24-12. to We're going to take a 30-second timeout. Take this time to thank our sponsors once more. Taylor King & Associates, Southwest Sporting Goods, Drs. Gary and Rob Rucker, Welch Funeral Home, State Farm, Austin Wingfell, Austin Wingfield, Blake Bell of Edward Jones, Turner Rogers, Manning and Plyler, PLLC, Southern Bank Corp, Eddie Arnold with Jostens and with Twin Rivers Health and Rehab, and Arnold Batson, Turner and Turner. We thank them for their sponsorship of Arkadelphia Badger football as we come back to action. 223 remaining, second 12 Arkadelphia ball at the box site 23. Cannon Turner in the shotgun, Staten, Staten Witten at tight end, Rubel at fullback, Hatley at running back, their handoff to Hatley on the right side, he's got some room across the 15, across the 10, across the 5, he's dragged down within the 5 yard line. They're flagged down. He's dragged down across the 5 yard line, but there's a flag in the backfield, so I think this play might come uh, flag back. The was, flag was actually at the 17, it looks like it. A little bit past. Yeah, so the flag at the 17 will take it back to the 27. So it looks like it'll be second and 16. That play did serve to take another uh, eight seconds off the clock. So even though it's uh, going to bring back the first down. And, and the clock will – actually, it was after a timeout, so it'll start on the snap. Mm. But uh, second, uh, that ball is going to go all the way back to the 33. Man. But there was another flag I saw in the back, though. I think there's two flags on that play. So it all looks right. like they're going to – Called it. The flag was right in the middle of the All Care Field logo, so it's kind of hard to see the yellow flag on the white pitch there. But uh, it's going to be all the way back to the 34. It's now. not a pitch it's until soccer season, Caleb. <laughs> the white turf, excuse Thank you. me. Uh, right here, Cannon Turner in the shotgun, and he's going to hand the fake the handoff to Hatley. He's going up the middle on the read option. He makes guy miss across the 30, across the 25, across the 20, across the 10, across the five. He's going to be Brag down at the five-yard line, and Cannon Turner just picked up a first down. What a run there from Cannon Turner. We've seen so many times tonight. Um, just his patience and also just his acceleration. We saw both of it there uh, that time, just going out to the left side, faking the handoff once again. Um, it's so hard for any defense uh, that plays up against the Badgers because have so many potent running backs as well as you got to watch out for Cannon Turner. And that time, he was able to break away to the left side and get all the way down inside the 10-yard line um, that time for Cannon Turner. Yeah, and that play uh, just picked up a first down for Arkadelphia. So Arkadelphia has first and goal now on the 6-yard line. Uh, clock's running now, 1.15 left in the game. Ball on the ground, the snap's on the ground. He's going to get the handoff off to Kyron Harrison. Harris is going to be brought down in the backfield, however. So uh, Harrison's going to be called for forward progress. He breaks out of the tackle. He had four guys on him and broke out of the tackle after the – after the snap was called, but it's going to be second down and goal on the nine-yard line. 53 seconds left now in the game. Uh, I think the Badgers might be able to even take a knee here and run out the clock. I'm not sure how many yeah, timeouts Boxside Box has they've left. Got, uh, they've got two left, but they're not running it, and Coach Eldridge has called for the victory formation, sweetest formation in football. Victory formation now for the Badgers. Cannon Turner's gone under center. He's going to take the knee here and a little bit of a push off the line of scrimmage. Box site, you know, they're upset. They That's come the ball this game, game. not going to have to snap it again. Yeah, that's it. Fox under 25 seconds, and that's a ball game, folks. Arkadelphia wins 24-12. to 12. The clock is winding down. It'll 
hit zero in about 10 seconds, and this is a huge win for the Badgers. They start the season 0-5, and, and they've come back now. They're 4-5 and heading into the last week of the season, and they just knocked off the number three team in the state and the leaders of the 7-4A conference. Jack, this is a huge win for the Badgers. Man, this is incredible. I mean, coming into this week, we knew – um, that Boxite was going to be a tough competitor from the start of the season. But as they've gone along, Boxite undefeated before tonight. Like you said, Caleb, the number three team in the state. And the Badgers, after going 0-5 to start the season, definitely just so much adversity um, from the start. But that time, the Badgers won now four in a row, knocked off the number three team in the state. And, man, this is a great night for Badger Nation. Badger Nation is going to be celebrating tonight. Your final score here, 24-12. We'll be back in two minutes to, for our post-game show. Yes, on the live stream, we know you're hearing us, but every once in a while, <laughs> you just have to take a breath. Uh, Caleb, that was a phenomenal effort by the Arkadelphia Badgers. Um, I'm, I'll, I'll say it. I know uh, people uh, people doubted them. There are about uh, 50 players and about six coaches, 10 coaches, uh, count the junior high, and, and a handful of, of wives. And uh, uh, I'm going to count myself in that uh, group, uh, Jim, uh, in that group and several others. But th there were some people that, uh, Jim, you know, oh, and five, you know, you hear, we, I don't ever hear grumblings, uh, you know, from people because, you know, I, I learned better than that in seven years. But there have been those, and, and uh, the Badgers came out tonight and, uh, uh, and, and really, really put together a dominant performance, a one that I really think it comes down to the fact that they believed that they could do it. You know, that's one of the six tenets that Coach Eldridge preaches as a part of their program. Belief is one of those, and if you don't believe that you can do something, it's a hard, it has a, you have a hard time for coaches to be able to pull you up to your level of belief. The Badgers believed that they could do it. The coaches prepared them that they could do it, and they did it. 24-12, uh, big win for the Arkadelphia Badgers uh, over the Bucksite Miners. Jim uh, Rothwell, uh, why don't you go ahead and take us through some of the statistics. Okay, again, uh, Ken and Turner, a phenomenal night. I I told someone before the game that Arkadelphia had a chance if he threw for 100 yards. Uh, he uh, Cannon threw for nine yards, and Arkadelphia still won. Uh, again, he was uh, two out of five for nine yards. Uh, the big receptions were uh, to uh, uh, Stacey uh, Whitten for 13 yards. And then uh, the other one was a minus four for uh, Braden and uh, Braden Thomas. And so it, it wasn't the passing game, but Cannon Turner in the – third and fourth quarter put the team on his back with those runs I mean when he would run that option and go the opposite he, he would just outrun them and you're talking about some speed you're talking about uh, Cruz uh, Dabs uh, McDowell those people have speed but he outran them on a couple of those touchdown runs uh, again just carried that team making up some key first downs and then we can't say enough about the defense other than the long run to Dabs they shut them down uh, pretty much tonight. They ended up with 298 yards, but this was a team that was averaging over 300 yards a game. And if you take out the one long run, they got about 220 uh, yards. So uh, great job by the defense. What did uh, Dabs have in the second half? Um, I don't remember him having the ball much. You know, the last couple of drives, last couple of drives, they went to the air, but I don't remember uh, uh, he, Dabs' name. He probably had about 20-something yards because he had a little over 100, I think, at – I think he had 112 at half. Okay. So he had about uh, 28 yards in the second half. We just didn't didn't hear his name. We didn't much, even see uh, him there at yeah. the end. I don't know if he got injured. Yeah. Um, because be with obviously. his speed, you would have thought they would have had him in in there at yeah. least to break a big play. And but, obviously, we're not going to know that. But that's yeah. just, that is one thing to to think about. You know, over the course of the game, uh, you, you you expect Dawson Dabs with 281 coming in. We just didn't hear him much. Mm -hmm. and, and part of that is because the Badger defense did shut down. But I just don't know uh, if he was in the field those last few games. Whenever. Plays. Whenever Boxside decided to switch formations, their shotgun formation, whenever the, the clock was running down, 
uh, they, they switched Dabs out for Sandage because Sandage is a bit more of a power back in that situation. Yeah, uh, yeah, but you need his speed on the field. You've got to have a bit, basically. You've got to have a big play to score twice. Yeah, and and, and obviously we don't know the the inner workings of, of really. I mean, to be honest, of either team, we we, yeah. we follow the. But uh, interesting to see, you know, uh, uh, not to see him uh, uh, factor much in the second half. But you mentioned Arkadelphia. Talk about the halftime adjustments on defense. Uh, you know. I would say an average carry, uh, take out the 76-yarder from Dabs in the second quarter. But every other carry, it'd be interesting to see what the average was. I bet it was seven to eight yards per carry on the first couple of drives. And of the four drives that Boxside had the ball in the first half, I bet they averaged about seven yards a carry. Second half, I bet they didn't average three, three or four. Five, yeah, you know, probably. And that put them behind the chains. Caleb said it a lot doing the play-by-play. It put them behind the chains, forced them to go to a passing game. Uh, they had some passes. They completed some passes. But then uh, Arkadelphia was able to get enough pressure. A lot of those screen passes, uh, they were the quarterback, uh, I believe it was uh, Hunter Davis, was having mm-hmm. to force it a little bit too quickly and because of the rush from the Badger defense. Yeah, both defensive ends, Rodgers and Campbell, were putting uh, extreme pressure, uh, particularly at the end of the game when you knew Boxite was throwing. Uh, and that's why they were – he didn't have time to throw downfield, so they were looking for the screens. And, of course, Arkadelphia speed at linebackers in the secondary mm-hmm. – it's going to be hard to to break one of those. So, Jim, anything, you're, you're, uh, give us some more statistics okay. that you might not have uh, um, given us yet. And then we again, can, Cannon you know. Turner ended up with 12 carries for 151 yards. That's 12 and a half yards a carry. Um, the touchdowns there. Um, again, Dabbs ended up with five, uh, six carries for 140 yards, almost eight yards a carry, but very little in the second half. 112 yards. In the first half. And, Jim, that sets up uh, the, the, the final week of the season for Arkadelphia. Go to Malvern. Malvern uh, uh, struggling. Uh, they do have uh, help come on the way. Their junior high team won the conference championship this year with a 5-1 and one, uh, uh, record in the 4A7 junior high. But Malvern has struggled this year. Arkadelphia goes to Malvern uh, next week, and then it will be off to the playoffs. We don't know it will be home for the playoffs for the first round, which is a possibility with a 2 or 3 seed from the mm-hmm. 4A7. You end up being a 4 seed, which I don't know if that's possible now. Just wait and see how it all shakes yeah. out after tonight. But uh, see how Arkadelphia has some momentum, and, and we we stood here. We, I sat here after the Robinson game when Caleb and Jack were gone, and we probably sounded like Pollyanna and Sunshine, uh, saying, you know, you're 0 and 5, and you know, I really think this team could end up 5 and 5. And you're like, what in the world are you talking about? And here you sit uh, after a, a, the you, you, each of the seasons that, that the last seven that I could could think about. You go back to one game that really kind of kind of turned things. And Arkadelphia had won the last three games. I think maybe somewhere in the second half you, at Ashdown last week you might be able to say it, but I think this might be the game that you look back and say, that's the game where their belief level went up, their execution level went up, and that's when the was in, when I was telling Coach Eldridge this week, you know, we're in week nine and, and we're accustomed to, you know, the season's just now getting started, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, uh, these games mean something. That was a big win for Arkadelphia. Yeah, you look back at the earlier games uh, – Again, Nashville was a winnable game. Uh, the weather played a big pe- uh, factor in that one. Yep. Um, Sylvan Hills early. Again, a young team, inexperienced offensive line, some mistakes in that one. Um, win, winnable game. Really, Benton, who's one of the top three or four teams in, in 6A, was probably the only team that really physically outmatched Arkadelphia. Uh, Robinson on that particular night did, but again, we made – I think there were four interceptions early in the first half. So that puts you behind what you want to do. And, again, Hatley's just coming back in that game. Uh, Thomas is just getting his way back in. So that's what those early games with Thomas and Hatley out and the inexperienced offensive line, it was just there were some games that were winnable if things went your way. But when they didn't, uh, you ended up losing those. The uh, Right now, if I'm one of the other teams, I don't want to play Arkadelphia early in the in the playoffs because they were on a roll and they've got the talent to match up with anybody. Uh, Warren is still very good. They've lost their key big p- – Burks is out. Right. Uh, but they've still got a lot of great players. Warren. But you don't have to be scared of them now. Well, I, I think you probably still 
probably ought to be, but but yeah. uh, I was talking to someone. They go from a a, a, a a a tremendously awesome football team to an awesome football team because those guys have really stepped up. Coach Embry's been there long yeah. enough. You know, I don't want to start looking past. You know, that's yeah. three weeks down yeah. the road, and we've got uh, a week or two to get there. But uh, uh, thanks, Jim. Phenomenal work uh, again, and thanks for struggling through this post game part uh, with me and <laughs> Jeff. Will, we'll be, I'll be glad that Jeff is back uh, uh, next week. But Jim well, Rothwell, thanks for thanks again. Sure, Your final to. thoughts for the night. Yeah. All right. All right. Caleb, let's uh, take take a look at some final scores, and then uh, we'll get Jack back in here, and we'll wrap this bad boy up and head to the weekend. Yeah, this game was uh, ended phenomenally quick. So the other games of the conference did as well. Nashville with a big win over Malvern, 69-10, to the final score there. Mm. Nashville at home over Malvern, 69-10. to Robinson at home over Ashdown, 57-13 to there. Mm. Robinson with a big win. And then the, the close game of the week, Fountain Lake and Harmony Grove. The last score update we have there is a halftime, 21-20. Uh, to 20, Fountain Lake led Harmony Grove there. Wow. So Harmony Grove had a big win over Nashville last week, coming back down to earth this week, only uh, tra still trailing Fountain Lake by one at halftime. The last score update we have there. So yep. that brings some really interesting uh, things into the conference standings. Right now, as things stand, Arkadelphia is in fourth place in the conference. Box site's number one. Five and one. Robbins is number two. Five and one. Nashville's number three. Four and two. Arkadelphia is number four. Four and two. So that loss to Nashville puts them behind them for the tiebreaker. But if Nashville happens to beat Box Site right. next week, then that will make things interesting. And Arkadelphia, if they have enough tiebreaker points, and that tiebreaker becomes really complex with a three-way tie, Arkadelphia could get that second spot. Right. You start looking at things. Man, does this loss really hurt? You? Does this win hurt you in the seedings? I, 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 I really don't think that matters because I think you would rather take the momentum of a win into the next week and continue building rather than have a loss and potentially uh, have have something better to you happen seating wise but you know that's why you play the game so Arkadelphia has two losses one of those two Nashville and so now if, if uh, Arkadelphia needs Harmony Grove to win that game to stay uh, in that uh, three-way tie with Harmony Grove and Nashville but no matter what happens, Arkadelphia still came out with the win. Jim, wrap it up for us, and then we'll get Jack in here and, and, and finish things up. Again, uh, the Arkadelphia defense tonight held a team that rushes for over 300 yards to uh, about 280, and a lot of that was the first half. Second half uh, probably had less than a, right at 100 yards, if not yeah. less. The uh, Arkadelphia scored, made some big plays. We talked about plays earlier, uh, touchdown runs. There were, wasn't a lot of drives for Arkadelphia, but – Big plays, quick drives, a big play uh, from Turner a couple of times, scoring quickly. Uh, so that was very good. Uh, again, looking ahead, uh, Malvern's always a tough game going there. Uh, but it, uh, it sets Arkadelphia up real well for the playoffs. All right, now we're going to go down to the field. Thanks, Jim, for your final thoughts. Jack Bennington's caught Coach Elders down on the field uh, during the postgame celebration. Jack Bennington now joined down on the field with Coach Elders. First, Coach, congratulations tonight. Uh, knocked off the number three team in the state in Boxite. Came into the uh, came from Boxite came into the game eight and zero on the night, but the Badgers were able to pull it out. Yeah, I'm just proud of our players. I mean, I, I just I, I, there's something special about our guys because they just keep coming to work, uh, and that's what we've been talking about every week is just putting on more steam, keep coming to work every day, uh, and they've been doing that in practice and. And it, it pays off. It paid off tonight. Yeah, we've been talking about it week after week, but this defense, uh, once again, I'm only allowing 12, 12 points tonight, and that's the most that they've allowed in the past four weeks of competition. Coach, your defense just tonight just, just did an out, outstanding job, and they're able to get your job done tonight. Yeah, we had, I think we got great uh, defensive coaches, Coach Kaiser, Coach Chandler, Coach Myers doing a great job getting our game plans ready, uh, and then our players just doing an excellent job of learning those game plans and executing those game plans. So really proud of our defense coaching staff and our players. And now going into next week, the Badgers now won four games in a row going into next week against Malvern. A, a huge game uh, possibly could end up being uh, finishing the regular season at 5-5, five and five, finishing 5-2 uh, and two in conference play. Um, now it kind of all comes down to the seeding. Um, how do you think your team is going to go into next week? Well, I, the, the bottom line for us is we just got to focus on on uh, on continuing to get better uh, in every aspect of our game, our offense, our, our defense, our special teams every week in practice, um, and then you know focus on on uh, on beating Malvern. That's really all that we can control. 
Awesome. Thank you so much, Coach. Thank you. That was Jack Bennington. That was Jack Bennington down on the field with Coach Eldridge. Coach is excited about a win. It was a huge win here tonight, 24-12. to uh, Arkadelphia over box eye. Jack's hurrying up to the studio uh, to go over our players of the game um, as we uh, wrap up here. So, Chris, offensive player of the game, who do you have? Well, I, I think you got to look at uh, you got to look at uh, Cannon Turner's Jack. You hear the door open and Jack comes back in, uh, but uh, you, you got to go with the uh, Cannon Turner. Two huge, huge long runs, touchdown runs, uh, both to the left side. Uh, great job downfield, Javante Brown on the left side taking his defender to the end zone or deep downfield and not holding on those uh, runs. Uh, good, a good job of blocking, but I uh, got to go with Cannon Turner for the uh, for his his rushing efforts tonight in the touchdowns. Jack, you, offensive player of the game? Yes. Okay. Oh, man. Uh, tonight, uh, Badgers offense did a great job, uh, I think, strategically, um, just running the ball, um, going to the right spots. Uh, Zion Hatley, Kyron Harrison um, both did an outstanding job running the ball tonight and getting the good runs when needed to be. But I think it's hard to go away from Cannon Turner tonight. Uh, three, I believe, three rushing touchdowns tonight uh, for the junior quarterback. Uh, it's kind of hard to go against him when you, when you put up those kind of numbers and score the – the three Badger touchdowns tonight. So, uh, Cannon Turner, not just for um, his passing efforts that we saw in the second half, um, but his rushing efforts as well um, to give the Badgers the win. Yeah, Cannon Turner is going to be my offensive player of the game as well. 151 yards on the ground, two touchdowns tonight for the junior quarterback. Uh, now we have our defensive player of the game. Jack, we're going to go to you first. Who's your defensive player of the game? Ooh, defensive player of the game. Um... No clue. I'll just I, – I think we're all three thinking the same thing. I didn't want to steal your thunder. but <laughs> no, you're good. That, uh, that is a complete – that's the definition of a team effort, I think. Yeah. Uh, you know, we, we called different guys' names all night, but uh, it's going to be hard. You know, they're going to go in and they'll grade and they'll have assignments and, you know, their pluses and minuses in the coach's grading system. So they'll come up with a, a player of the game. But that that's a hard – one uh, pick, uh, time to pick one out of those eleven, and when all eleven of them played such a, such a good job tonight, did such a good job tonight and played so well. All right, so we're gonna in, we're gonna, in the booth we here. Talk. We're gonna for me, I'm gonna give it to the whole defense. There you go. That's a team effort. I think you have to tune into the Jerry Eldridge show <laughs> next week to see who he gives his defense player of the game to, because that'll be an interesting revelation. Uh, so we have off to player of the game, Cannon Turner, 151 yards, two touchdowns. Defense, great defensive effort tonight. Um, really shut down box site, uh an offense that, that had been doing really well on the ground and put up 41 points last week against uh, against Robinson and this week only putting up 12 against the Badgers. Any final thoughts, Chris? Go Badgers. Jack? Go Badgers. All right, go Badgers from me as well. Your final score tonight, 24-12. to 24-12, Arkadelphia over box site. Good night.